All right, guys, I'm here with Gunhound. We are doing the 2v2 Nomad Tournament, or 2v2v2, 2v2, Team FFA, basically. And uh, it's going to be Gunhound and I on Holy Romans, and he is on Mongols. We're about good to get going, man. How you doing? Life treating you well? Ready to ready oh, to take I'm... the W? Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we've been letting everybody fall into that false sense of like security. Yes. And uh, let them get all at ease, and now we're just going to come in and throw around all of our Conqueror weight. Yeah, this is this is for all the marbles for sure. This is this is the tournament we've been saving our our great ambush for. Okay, let's get this going. Looks like we're all set, and uh, I think we're good, man. You ready to fire it up? Let's rock and roll, brother. You got your number one fan in chat. You got Professor Pone. He's here, he's rooting for you, dude. Oh yeah, I mean, one of these days he's gonna get in and mix it up with us, and we'll do some like three v threes or four v fours or something. Yeah, I you know. You play a lot more team games than I do. Like, I've always mm -hmm. been a little bit apprehensive about, like, team games. I mean, they're fun and all, but I feel like there's just, like, a lot of, like, weird interactions. And, like, I feel like trade is so strong in team games. And, uh, right? Like, with the ability to just trade with your allies. Oh, yeah. I mean, absolutely. If you, I mean, trade is, like, a necessity. And no. it, it, it's. It sucks if you end up trying to play a team game and you don't full, bring a full team with you because inevitably you are either on the team that gets shafted <laughs> or you're on the team that like pulls out ahead because either one of your people's going to quit or one of their people's going to quit. Yeah. And yeah. once that happens, it just becomes like a lo like lopsided thing. Yeah. 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 No, I've, I've had that happen. I played a couple team games last season and just people like quit or, you know, AFK or <laughs> it's a little bit less organized. Hey, Dan, thank you for the fiver. Greatly appreciate it. One minute late. Got on up now. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, we got a cool. We got the McDonald's color scheme, dude. We got the 90s uh, fast food. We got the red yellow. Look at that. That's, uh, that's unbeatable. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's um. This is the first round. We have uh, sixteen teams in total, split up in pods, and uh, and yeah, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be playing, and the winner of each pod will advance on to a grand final. So if we advance, I'll play. I'm gonna have to play in the finals, and if we get karate chopped in this one, um, you know, then I'll be casting the later round games, and that's gonna be the game plan here. So thank you guys all for joining once again. All right. Oh, do I need the ready button? Okay, here we go. Yep. Looks like I'm good. I think everybody's here. Yeah, I think everybody's here. So we got Chinese and French on a team. We have Mongols, English, Holy Romans, and Ottomans. Interesting comp. Yeah, really strong trade. Seagate Castle, Relics. A lot of good late game gold if they can kind of secure their game plan. We don't really have a strategy. We just kind of play whatever we feel like playing. It, uh, it, it's funny because I watch all these guys all day while I'm at work, like practicing, <laughs> like throwing up practice FFAs, practice FFAs. Yeah. And then I'm just like, you know what? We're going to wing it. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see if it works. We'll see how if it, if the bold strategy works out, Cotton. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll try and make it. The one, the weird thing about Holy Romans in, uh, that we were talking about pre stream was that they don't get their prelate when you play Nomad. Like, so you, you, you don't have that. But I assume it, refunds you the gold that you lose for starting with the prelate i would hope not really sure i i, I know what they're i think in since nomad you know once they release the new update it's yeah. going to be an official uh mode i i think that they will actually give you the troops and things that you're supposed to have when yeah your tc is built um but you know until that day yeah we, no we stand at uh I don't get my Gur, I don't get my Khan right away. Yeah, so you're. At a, I feel like we're like the two civs who are at a disadvantage in this. <laughs> oh, the Mongols are really good at Nomad because you can just like, if you get a bad starting, starting spot and you realize it, you can pack up and move. Whereas like, if you set up right next to somebody, you're you're usually forced into Mortal Kombat, which means the civs who do not start next to somebody are just going to boom and you're just like in some shitty feudal fight with someone, you know, so. Exactly. Yeah, you really don't want to be doing that. Okay, so where are we at right now? Oh, so you're already down here. Yeah. Two. Uh, let's settle down in the bot, like by your two workers over there. Yeah. All right. Found a deer camp here, but I don't know if there's any gold nearby. There is stone and wood. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's do this. And uh, yeah, let's just hope there's no one else nearby. <laughs> let's hope for the best. Arrows hurt. Oh my god! It sounds like there's an English Mortal Kombat already. Well, I was about to say there there was one English player and one Chinese player. Yeah, yeah. 
some barbicans. Uh, there was one other HRE. To... Yeah, yeah, there was a Holy Roman. Nice, you got a gold node right there. I, I have stone because I want to go 2TC in wood, what? so I just have to have to find some gold nearby and we should be okay. Hmm. Yeah, I've oh. got a little bit of wood, what? I think. I've got stone and gold right yeah, here. Yeah, you, you had a pretty good start. You got wood, you got your uvu, you got wood, and... Uh, I had one sheep standing right here too. So. Yeah, there you go. See, it's a win-win. I, I set up next to a deer encampment, so I have a full huntable deer establishment next to me. Nice. So there's water though. There's a river. If you see over there on the far side where my scout ran, okay, there's the middle. That's where all the goodies are. I feel like there's like maybe a, some viability with like settling in the middle on a map like this. Okay, Super Oxide is, um, I see his villager in the middle. He's going to the west. So I think we might have this corner to ourselves, which is good. We might have it, brother. Yes, Sean, that is me. That is the gun hound. It is him, dude. Okay. Do you ever do like paintball or airsoft growing up? Uh, I do airsoft now. Yeah, it's fun, dude. Airsoft's a lot of fun. I used to do that when I was a when I was a young adult. It's quite a bit of fun. Come on, you're only as old as you feel. Well, I was like 19 when I did it, <laughs> so, so that's actually a long time ago. <laughs> I, I didn't do it my first time until I was. 32. Yeah, oh, damn. All right. So I, I was late to the game. And of course, we're running around out there with a bunch of like 14, 15 year olds. It's like, oh, now yeah. I start to feel old. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the there was an airsoft place I used to go to. Um, and it, it was a lot of like military guys and police, and they would just like terminate you. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, so where can I get? Let's see here. Gold. Hopefully, I'll find some. Town center is about to finish. Okay, let's start on this. Can I click on this silly D up here? Yeah, I'll do this one, fine. Uh, probably get you first. Okay, let's just get you guys on the deer. Looking good. Definitely want to get that scout first. So anyone have food? <laughs> Look, somebody in chat's getting, hey Cody, thanks for becoming a member. Greatly appreciate it, man. Welcome to the Dukes of Haggard, brother. No. No, oh, yeah, I always forget those like emotes. Okay, so we're gonna go Good sheep fun. hunting. Have fun. Okay. Smeagol, look, Smeagol's getting into the mind games I already. Am weak. Please don't kill me. So we need to get a prelate. Thought it was gonna produce yeah. my con, but it's supposed to. I think it will eventually. I don't know. Is it? Is it not producing your con at the moment? No. That's not good. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Just no con for the rest of the game. Like uh, that. It sucked. Uh, turn up Gunhound a little bit. Sounds good. I'll do it. As soon as I get like a moment where I'm not looking for sheep, I will uh, I will turn him up. Okay, so I have a gold node pretty close by. I'm happy about that. And uh, I have a good Aachen position for uh, fast expansion, actually. So I'm going to get that prelate out, get the Jesus going on the speakers, which is good. We're going to give him the Jesus, dude. It's coming. The Holy Romans. Uh, do you see any relics near you? I feel like, like we're in no man's land with relics. Hopefully we just... I'm not seeing one yet. There's a lot in the middle. Building a scout now that it's decided to not give me my con for some reason. So I think you get your con eventually. It's just gonna. It's yeah, gonna... Normally it starts building him when I build my TC, but we yeah. may have a bit of an issue. Yeah. I'm looking at your base. Okay, I see your scout coming out, which is good. Prelates motivating the boys. Let's uh, do an early start on the gold here. Aachen will go right here. You got it? You got the con now? Yeah, apparently it just didn't give me any indicator that it was making the gun. Classic, yeah. So you just kind of got screwed there, huh? Yeah, well. Oh, well. Yeah, it could be worse, man. So we do have water. Um, Here, we have... Okay, there's a relic there. As long as we're not close to the other Holy Romans. I'm going 2TC, which will give us, like, I think better staying power. But, yeah, we could lose out on relics. But we have trade, like, between us. So the relics aren't as crucial. I mean, obviously, every Holy Roman wants it. Okay, so there's a couple relics right there, which is good. I almost want to... Do I go fast castle? I don't know. I could go water, go fishing. Okay, let's get you guys up here. Keep looking around. That deer camp is going to keep us uh, comfortable for quite some time. Maybe I'll go set up a little houses around there. Okay, I'm going to go scout the north of the map. You just grab all the sheep down here, yeah? Okay. Roger that. Yeah, you, you got that. You got that on lockdown there. All right. Uh, okay, so Friar Chuck is giving me all the resources I need here. Yeah, I see a couple here. It looks like there was like two or three. 
One there as well, yeah. Perfect. We'll come for the Dude, we'll come for the goodies. Next to me. Yeah, somebody could age up really quick if anybody ends up engaging in the fishing oh, in the river, which I suspect at least one person will. Then um yeah, that that could be pretty strong. Yeah. Alright, let's go get Friar Chuck up there. Okay. If there's no one up in this corner, um, we can do some nasty trade. Like we could just go in the top left, the like the top of the map, the like furthest north face, and we could just like go bananas with the trade. Fast Castle is really good with HRE, but a very very underrated tactic is actually the um, the two TC. So I've been playing a lot offline. I recently just got back to Conquer with it, um, and I, I've just that, by the way. Oh, thanks, man. I've just been I've just been spamming two TC. Like all day, like two TC HRE. It's really strong because you get like super fast. Um, okay, so we have one of the teams up north. Yeah, one of the teams is chilling up here. All right, let's grab a couple of you guys, do this, and get the Aachen Chapel. And we can do it like so, actually. Yeah, we do have somebody up north, so it's, it's happening. Okay, let's grab you, do this, and uh, yeah, we can delete that later. So we got uh, Rock, and who's on Rock's team? Rock is with 8-man. Okay, so... 8-man. Yep. Yeah, 8-man. So we got Chinese, French to the north. There could be aggression from them. We'll have to see. But yeah, 2TC HRE is actually um, is pretty damn good, I think. All right, so we got one river crossing down here on the south part. You gonna do it? You going to do a little bit of fishing? Uh, there's like not actually really... There's, I guess there's a little shoreline fish down here. Yeah, it's, shoreline fish are still pretty good. For sure. Ended up with the right mini sheep too. Yeah, I didn't get as many sheep as I thought I would. We have good vision though. We gotta keep uh, we gotta keep scouting. I ended up with like twelve sheep, I think. So as long as we don't die to the northern aggression, and you know, the great part is we can always pack up and run. We can we can embrace the Smeagol. The Smeagol life. <laughs> yeah. Let's go here and this. Looks good. So we're gonna be aging up here. You guys jump on this, you guys jump on this, get a couple of you guys here. Get Friar Chuck in there, and we'll try and get that 2TC, and we should still be able to beat some people to castle even on 2TC. Holy Romans, yeah, so we're the first ones to age up, that's good. Alright, all is well in the realm, my friend. You got, you got a pretty good Smeagol impersonation, that's solid. Been hanging out with Professor Pwn, man. You've heard his Smeagol too, right? Yes. And did you watch the the channel back in the day when we used to um, do a lot of stuff with Italian Spartacus? I actually did not turn. I didn't find your channel until, until age, like right? January. No. Damn, son. That's recent. Um, but Italian Spartacus, one of my friends, he's he also does YouTube. He he covers a lot of different games now. But um, that's actually how I found you. Um, oh, through him. Of, uh, I'd never seen Italian Spartacus before. But then Age of Empires came out, and one of my buddies was like, "Well, here you should check out this guy," and it was Spartacus, or Sparty. And uh, so then I watched all of his Age content he put out. I'm like, "Well, now I want some more Age content." And then he had kept mentioning <laughs> you. So yeah. Then I actually jumped over to your channel, and that's where I got stuck. Yeah, man. The good times. Now you're the Dark Lord of FFA. Yeah. I, th I, I don't think we want to... Do we want to try and do, like, trade right now? Is it even prudent, you think? Actually, you know what? Maybe put some... Um, put your trade post in the, the, the most eastern corner of the map. Yep. And I'll, like, set up trade just north of my base, and we can we can kind of party with that, yeah? Oh, that works for me, bro. Okay, so people are just now aging up, which is good. Almost have enough stone. Let's go ahead and turn in. Head over to wood. And I wonder if we're going to get any aggression... That would be very strange for sure. Um, do we need more food sources? I think we're okay for now. I have no idea what's going on with the pathing of these guys. It's very strange. Oh, okay. All right, so I just need a little bit more wood. I got the wheelbarrow coming. Um, could do some great walls here, but I don't think we need them quite yet. All right, let's do this, and uh, we can set up a TC. Cool. So now we basically just pull some of these guys and uh, start switching on to gold relatively hard. And we can just age up from there. Okay, there's like a scout riding in our base. I could have garrisoned and killed him. I should have. I, I have Ferox's scout over by my base. Yeah, there's... They, I'm curious how like bunched up they might be on the other side. Oh, I thought that was like a French knight or something. I was going to be like, really? 
Just the French are here. We got the villager duel. Always trust that the French are coming. And they will. Okay, let's just get a stables over here. I really like like just the heavy gold combos for HRE. Okay. So I just killed a scout. Great. He just left it there to die. I'm gonna gather a few manga die. I'm gonna ride over there side of the river and take a look around. You're gonna go take a little peek and see what's going on. Yeah. In the old neighborhood. Wow, just okay, so the fact that they just got feudal age means that they're more than likely fishing. Like I would be thoroughly shocked if they were not fishing. Um so I'm gonna set up a trade like Yeah, like right up here. So let me go ahead and ping this. See that? Alright. Yep. If, if you wanna like start using that, I'm not gonna go like hard trade yet because I want to get castle and get those relics, but eventually I will start trading back with you. That's fine. You're good, I have uh Yours will be done by the time my traders get there. Okay. Let's go here. We got a stable up. Okay. A lot of people just reaching feudal age now. We got the 2TC online. How's everything going for you down there? Um, I'm good. Uh, it's got, uh, got everybody working. Yeah. The whole crew is on it. Heck yeah, bro. No prelate. Let's get you up there. Traders starting to roll out. Okay. Can go ahead and trade a little bit of uh, food because we have such an excess. Aachen economies are pretty sweet. You don't really know what's going on too much on the other side of the river, but I suppose we should just focus on what's in front of us here. Yeah. You know. If we could get, uh, if we could end up walling off these rivers. Yeah, at some point we will. I think we're going to just have to stabilize and then obviously fight the, uh, the, the lads up north. Oh, yeah. So it's going to have to go down here. Okay, very close to castle. It is Nomad, so castle is going to take a little bit longer. Okay, we have another prelate coming out. Got to get that Jesus going. Relics are so far away here, though, man. Jeez. They're really off in the Shadow Realm. Oh. Yeah, not surprised. He's Holy Roman, so... That's going to be the way. Hopefully he's just not close to us so we can get all the goodies to ourselves. And then we have you chilling out. So one, two, and then let's go for one of these over here. Uh-oh. Barbecue of the sun over there. All right. So prelates are on a mission to go get all the goodies they possibly can. Let's get on food. And uh, we can start setting up some like walls here, I suppose. Let's do that. And uh, we can do a little bit of this. Oh, that's kind of like so junky. All right. Come on, prelates. Get the goodies. I actually organize houses right now. This is weird. Usually I'm just like all over the place. If I can just get... What are those? I'm, I'm so bad with like organizing my, my layout. Okay. Okay, buddy. Let's get this one. And then we're going for the deep relic. Is it over here? Yes. Come on. Okay, let's get you back. Do this. And uh, we got this. And let's start getting a bunch of knights. I could definitely go start pressuring our, uh, our friends up in the north. Okay, so let's uh, do this and then get that going. We want to get a blacksmith as well. And when this finishes, we delete this to make some room. You can get a little bit of that. We got the triple relics. I have a great wall coming in the north just to kind of keep uh, keep tabs. And uh, man, this is like, this map is pretty big. All right, so the great wall is on the way. People are reaching Castle Age. So China getting Castle Age, I would wager they're probably sitting pretty. Dude, China late game is just so brutal, man. Oh yeah, it's, it's so brutal. Yeah, I was playing against this this Con Conqueror 3 Chinese guy last night and it was just like, oh my god. Watch your manga die. It looks like they're battling some English archers there. Okay, so we can start on this. What are the trade routes bringing back? 100? Okay, that's pretty good actually. That's very respectable. Yeah, I'm just going over there to take a look around. 
Gonna have to switch into the big Aachen farm economy here in a minute. So we know Ferox is down there next to us. Yeah. Or, or is probably the closest one to that side if he's going off. Yeah, yeah. I got some military now too, though. Okay, let's leave this. Is there any more relics out of the map that I can grab? I don't think so. Yeah, it looks like they're mostly taken. So, all right. So, uh, three relics isn't bad. I'll take it. Make some traders, because why the hell not? Let's get that eco going. Upgrades on the boys. And, uh, yep. Drop it, drop it. Cool. So, we got three relics. I'll take it. Make some more knights. I could definitely do a push up towards the Chinese lands at some point. What are you thinking? Um, yeah, I mean, we should probably secure our side of the river and build. Yeah, so like, take, you're saying taking them out would be prudent. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Um, how are we looking there? Do we have stone walls, or those are their stone walls, huh? Those are their stone walls. Okay, yeah, so so how many crossings do we have here? We have one at the bottom, so I'll come wall we that. The one they just did, and then there's one over uh, right here. As well. All right, I'm gonna go send some guys to uh, wall that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so looking good. I'm gonna go see like what's going on in the Chinese lands. I'm just gonna do a little bit of raiding. Let's get the Holy Roman Infantry going, because they're obviously very good. I'm going to go do some raiding. And uh, we can also get a stone wall there soon. All right. The Great Wall is coming up. Got some villagers coming down to Wallace. And then we can focus our efforts on the north. Uh, your castle, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good. Are we under attack? Oh. I saw you pinging something. I was like... Yeah, it was a Nothing. The wolf's causing some drama, eh? Yeah. All right, so let's go explore here. People are just reaching Castle Age. Can I actually sneak past some walls here? Ooh, looks like somebody didn't wall. Oh, hello. Bunch of villagers here. Eight Man almost always plays the uh, the English. It's, it's strange seeing, seeing them play Chinese. Is Chinese like the new hotness in, uh, in FFA here? Not really. Um, I think actually people have been in... in uh... hey, oh, trade. They're trading here. I found it. Okay. I'm actually killing trade. Got a fair amount of villagers too. Nice. All right. Yeah, I think um, what they, a lot of people have actually been moving away from China, trying to uh, do a lot of the uh, sieves that they want to be getting prepared for, for uh, after the big uh, live. Got it. Makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just start putting pressure on these guys here a little bit. Uh-oh, the, the Uvu running out there. The sound is scary. Yeah. Okay, so the river crossings are... Uh, as soon as you can, join me up here. Okay. We, we definitely want to kill them. Because they're trading and, you know, kind of kind of having a little bit too good of a time. I'm going to gather the troops. Go here. Got the two TCs online. We got some sweet trade going, which is good. They're trying to wall. I think I can overwhelm them. Sweet. Yep. I'm definitely winning the fights here. Okay, let's get upgrades going. Yep, they're trying to stone wall. You got, uh, you're making Lancers, yeah? Yep. That's going to be good. Lancers are solid. Supply block for like 10 years, my favorite. My signature uh, special special move. All right, so um, let's get the two-handed upgrade, take down this TC here. Is there any other river crossings I need to wall? Or is that like, that's legit the only one there, isn't it? Wow, that's pretty awesome. Ah. 
Okay, they're building it. <laughs> they're building a keep here. It's getting real serious. Let's get a siege workshop here. Take down this TC. All right, looking good. Got a good food economy. Finish off this TC to make it harder for them to come back. Man, that those those hand cannons in that Chinese tower are nasty. Okay, we've we've shut down their trade effectively, and you and I still have trade, so we're de we're definitely going to be laughing all the way to the bank here. Chris just getting castled. They must be some in some serious Mortal Kombat down there. All right, so wood is still going. Looks good. Let's get a siege workshop. Set you up here. Okay, let's pull some bills. Let's get some of you guys up here. I'm setting up a siege front by their base, yeah? Okay. Yeah, nice. You got your stables coming up. Good, good. No, no trade for you guys, not today. I'm also going imp right now. Oh, you're going imp fast imp, yeah? Makes it makes sense. Good. I love it, man. I love it. Unfortunately, we don't have any sacred sites in our like territory. Okay. Got a trebuchet coming out. Let's go here. Hey, name. Thanks for becoming a member. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's do this. Set up a little something, something here. Okay, looking good. Eco's popping. We don't need these. Okay. So we got our side of the river pretty secured here. Looking good. Drag down homeboy. They might try and push me out here. I'm not sure what their schemes are. But I do have two trebs and I'm knocking their shit down. Okay, let's go there. Let's get the prelates motivating. Go for a third treb so we can take down the barbican. Get a little bit more food. Got a big men at arm based army. They're obviously going to be spamming crossbows, but we, uh, we try not to care about that. Okay, definitely got to go imp here though. Um. Do we want to preemptively set up like an Elsback palace in the corner? That probably would be a good idea, right? I mean, you could either do that or I can move one of my... I can pick up and move any of Well, where, wherever we think we're going to do a wonder is essentially what I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm going to grab some workers. I'm your worker. And go down to um, your trade site in the corner there. And we'll like... That'll be like the spot where if we're like ready for a wonder, Elsback will... um. Reduce the damage of all those those um, those pieces. All right, you got any dudes coming to join me in the the dreaded crusade in the north? Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, so let's start getting some prelates and get the motivations, all that sort of good stuff. You grab this. No, they are repairing that keep. That's good. So they're wasting resources on that. Well, it's not wasting. It's just... Uh... Alright, so let's go ahead and... Yeah, because you can move that later. So we'll do this like so. Okay, they're moving out trying to snipe my trebs. Yeah, the armies are pretty small. I don't know if there's going to be like an attempted ride by or something, but... Yeah, a couple of French knights tried to creep by. All right, doesn't look like there's any roots. They're going to quickly realize that there's literally no way to get by us here. Okay, L's back in the corner is getting built. Get you guys over here. Trying to dive the Chubs, no problem. Head them off. And we can have the villagers come. Repair, repair, repair. Awesome. Let's move you up to the gate. So go here and then this. Okay. Trebs and trebs. 
I got the holy the holy goon squad coming. <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie Dead Alive? Yes. Remember remember the scene where the priest is like he's in the he's in the graveyard and he like is fighting the zombies and he's like I kick ass for the Lord. Oh yeah. That's like the that's like the best line of the whole movie. But that's basically the Holy Romans in a nutshell. Holy shit, look at these keeps look oh my god, look at this. I think I could 2v1 them, dude. Maybe. Huh? <laughs> when I show up, it's just gonna, like, you know, go completely our way. Okay, so they just got the keep up, so maybe I do have to fall back, but they, they just lost, like, a ton of villagers. Okay, so let's switch to the keep here. I need to set up more infrastructure. It's really bad that I don't have more. Okay. Okay, let's go dive this over here, and we need to get a uni. Let's get you guys to do a uni here. Okay, they definitely took a ton of damage. I just need to regroup my forces now. And uh, let's get you guys do a little bit of trading here. I definitely like the like cab infantry like combo style. With Holy Romans. Okay, about to be elite. And let's get army tactics and biology for those units. Yeah, Peter Jackson did that movie. It's pretty crazy. It is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's some haggard politics on the other side. Okay, perfect. So, should be able to get a lot of dudes. Let's get some floppy hat boys. Purple has massive trade. Well, not our problem. He's They're on your side of the river. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lost the trebuchets. I wasn't watching. Oh, well, let's build a cannon, I guess. All right, let's get you down here. What's going on here? Spring ult, huh? Okay, so we need to get some uh, blacksmith upgrades. So let's do that. Get the armor upgrades. Got 25 minute arms. They have the whole map help. <laughs> Look, at he says they are pushing this hard. Look at that. All right, so let's set this up here. Okay. I could try a little run by here, get the elite boys to move over there. I'm gonna like try and do a run by into the farm areas. Okay, let's get you buddies to uh, just go grab some stone or wood, it was fine, whatever. I'm gonna start like doing some raids into the uh, into the eco here. Okay, a couple right. dudes, fine. Let's go see if they have farm set up. They're coming to do some battle. Okay, upgrades. We're into the farms of uh of these guys. I never grabbed the sacred site because I'm too much of a potato. I got raid going on. Yeah, okay, I just took out a ton of their farmers. Let's go look around the rest of the base. Okay. <laughs> you like that, Israel? Yeah, that's funny. All right, so let's just keep grabbing the gold here. And we can also do this and set that up just to make sure. Okay. Uh-huh, let's get some spearmen. Smeagol has reached the Imperial Age, dude. It's happening. He's the prophecy is being fulfilled of him moving into the mountains and and degenerating into a a gremlin. All right, so how are we looking here? Let's run into the trees. We can actually fight here. It's fine. Let's move up. All right, so eco's a little bit too hardcore. I got a little bit too excitable on that. So good, man. Those are the greatest movies ever, you know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's just no, like... Holy shit. Homeboy's got, like, 500 spring alts over here. Alright. I guess I need to... Kill that. Alright, very good. Say what, dude? I said I'm gonna start sending some guys your way. Yeah, is, this, is the dreaded gunhound army gonna ride, like, the Rohirrim? Oh, yeah. Okay. The Vanguard forces, at least. 
the vanguard of, of the great of the great gunhound invasion. Okay, so let's get a culver in. Um, yeah, hopefully they keep. We need to kill these guys before the other side kills kills their stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that's what needs to go down here. Yeah, we need to have this side there. Hopefully, OG Khan is like not actually dead. That would be that would be great if he could not die. Okay, let's do this. I think they're I think they're uh, I think they're exaggerating a little bit when they're saying they're dying. Oh, there's a relic here. Oh yeah, dude, give me that relic. Give it to me, precious. Oh, the gunhound! The Rohirrim is coming! Hang on, I'm gonna turn up gunhound right now. I, I totally blanked on that. We were like so focused. I can hear him fine. I don't know why it's so quiet for you guys, but... Um, I'm going in. Alright, so I turned him up by 15%. So let me know if that gets the job done. Let's see if that gets it going. Alright, all right, just... Let's get all these expensive ass spring olds. Yes. Yes, gunhound. Unleash your, your full fury. The pent-up rage. L's back in the corner here, which is good. <laughs> Rock GG. <laughs> Did he say GG? Yeah. Because I just killed all of his knights. <laughs> oh, you did? Good. Attaboy. Let's get you back here. He had his eco rated pretty hard earlier, too, so he's got to be hurting. Okay, so let's get you to snipe this. This. Once again, a little carried away on the eco. Let's cut this. We don't need that. That's better? Alright, sorry about that, guys. Alright. What the hell is this? All these villagers coming after me here? Did you get the relic? Come on, Friar Tuck. Get all these villagers before they can get it. Alright, man. Good job. We've done it. The first strike. The lethal blow. So we just need to get that. Yeah, ri just ride past it and kill the kill the villagers and the farms and stuff. Don't worry about the keep. I'll take yeah. care of it. Sounds good to me. Uh, they don't even have any villagers in the. Go, go to the other. Go to the other base. Go to the Chinese base. If you can find it, I don't even know where his base is actually. Uh, I think we kind of rode through it almost. Well, he yeah, the Barbican was built like uh, over here. You know what? I'm gonna get these houses real quick. You're doing it. Got the relic. Let's drop it in the keep there. Get some gold for burning these things down. You got some idle um, cab in your base. Oh yeah. By the by this one. Okay, I need to stop building villagers. I just have too much of a hard on for that. It's a good problem to have. He so they just use their guild hall basically to um to build like 50 keeps. So I'm just gonna knock these keeps down so they can't like build any landmarks near them. Valamir, probably a lot. <laughs> probably a lot of resources are lost. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get burning oil here a little bit, so we're gonna need some reinforcements. Okay, almost got all the keeps down. We got the, the border. Uh, villagers leading me to other villagers. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. I found the guild hall. You found the guild hall? Nice. So we just need to we need to finish them off again before the other side, and then we can um, we can start planning for a wonder, basically, is what we want to do. Oh shit, okay. Chinese actually mustered a decent army. We should be able to handle it, it's just uh yeah, they got a fighting force. Okay, cannon, get back here. Men at arms should be able to fight okay there. Probably should build some archers of some sort. Yeah, they have a lot of crossbows. You just keep riding by and raiding. I'll just keep like fighting their armies. How are you doing on resources, by the way? You must be pretty rich, yeah? Uh, yeah, I've got like 4,000 wood, 1,500 stone, uh, 1,200 of both other resources. Okay, so you're, you're sitting pretty. You're sitting pretty for sure. Okay, let's get those upgrades. Um, take some of your horsemen and, and see if you could find the Chinese base. 
Looks like there's like a weird raid going down here. Okay. 131 eco, I suppose. My army's a little bit smaller. Alright, there's the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, you got an army coming? Just run to the south and then just like as soon as he comes after me, you just you just go the other way. Yeah. Okay. Trying to save the guild hall. He's trying to save the guild hall, yeah. Yeah. Alright, mm -hmm. I'm gonna head up north. Yeah, I'm, I'm going after the Chinese. Or taking the whole bottom side of the map. <laughs> Alright. Looking good. How many landmarks do they have left? I mean, I feel like we've done some good damage. Here comes the Chinese forces. Oh, they're, they're still Castle Age. Okay. A clash of titans will, <laughs> will ensue very soon, yeah. Alright, yep, that's where uh, we've got 2TC for the uh, Chinese up to the north. I'm gonna get these trebuchets right here though before they get away. Yeah, I'm battling their two armies right now. They might be able to push me back. Uh huh. I'm burning down Chinese houses right now. Yeah, yeah, good. Just keep, keep that damage up. Found the clock tower. Let's go do a little bit of raiding here. I can feel the urgency. We need to like get it done before the other side does, because then they'll, they, they'll be able to just start biding their time, basically. Okay. China's actually, they were doing a great job putting up a solid fight here. Yeah, let's go for these guys, pull this cannon back. Probably need to build some stuff here. So let's get some siege workshops here. Okay. A lot of crossbows, a lot of bows. It looks like you're doing some good damage. Oh, what the hell? Am I building scouts? Oh my god, I'm such a potato. I was like building like just a dreaded army of scouts. Okay, so what do we got? Dude, they have so many keeps. Jesus. You see the Chamber of Commerce up on the other side here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's torch this down before they get too excited. You're still raiding pretty well, yeah? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna see if I can't pull their attentions away. So. Sounds good. A lot of spearmen. Okay, let's go here and here. Do a little bit of raiding there. You guys here and here. Gather you up. Cannon should be here soon. Uh-oh, bottom side. Oh, wait. Are they killing those other guys? You see that? Can you start upgrading cannon towers down there? Yep. That's, uh, we might have to let these guys live, unfortunately. If they're actually coming... They're, it looks like they're chasing people down. It's not actually like coming for us, but... Yeah, but there's two uh, great bombards down there. The, yeah. Up there bl blasting down the blue walls right now. Okay, we'll see if they come for us. At least we spotted it quickly. Yep. You know, we're, we're aware of what's going down. Your next wave of Lancer reinforcements should get the job done, though. Oh, there went Ferox. <laughs> I'm like wishing. I'm like, I wish our guys would say GG and tap out. They're too strong. They're holding too well. Okay, let's do this. I got good raids in the base over there. Gonna kill a TC. Okay. I don't know if that raid's gonna come our way. Um, you might want to pull your Lancers back just in case. Although it seems as if the other yep, side... they're coming. Yeah, it seems as if they're the coming. other side's still fighting. Nope, I think, I think they're about to... They're about to come party, huh? Okay. Yep. Okay, let's do this and get some of you guys. I'll keep fighting up here with the existing army I have and then I'm gonna eventually, obviously, uh, come around. I don't know if they're actually gonna push though. It's not like a big army. I feel like your Lancer stack might be able to deal with them. Oh right. yeah, I can definitely deal with them assuming my Lancers get, back, get their butts back down here. Are there any spears here? Doesn't look like it. Okay, it's mostly both. Good. Uh, yeah, it's good thing you made some cannon towers there. It's, it's definitely a vanguard army. But the other team is still alive. They're not like dead. You know? Well, they, they've decided that they're going to... I have some troops coming. I have some troops coming to help in the south, too. It's not like a big army, but it's something. Okay, so let's go here and then take this down. Go jump up on the farms here. 
Uh, there's some knights raiding the uh, trade lines in the back. I can actually, I'll take care of it. I got some knights going over there. Okay. So how's their actual army looking here? Okay, looks like you got that covered, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so should I keep trying to finish the north? I don't think they have good supply lines there. We need to, like, support their, um, their enemies, basically, right? Yeah, I'll clean up everybody that's here. Okay. I have, like, a minor army. Watch out. Don't fight in that choke. There's, they have a lot of spears and stuff. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna resume my uh, push on the north. They're so they're scrapping really well though. Their eco's got to be in the pits though. They've got to be in the pits. I'm gonna kill the guild hall too. Could come set up some goodness there. The Skaven, the Skaven. Uh, we need the Skaven on the other side to survive. Okay, let's keep taking all these nodes if possible. I'm heading back north with the uh, most of the army. All right. How are we looking on eco? Okay, I'm a little bit too much on the food department. Can never have enough food though. Did somebody just age up? <laughs> yeah, eight man. Oh shit. Okay, you just got castle age, huh? No, he just got imperial. Just got imperial. Okay. Or er, imperial. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna start torching houses here. Hey, Mark. Thanks for becoming a member. Greatly appreciate it. Do I need to adjust Gunhound's mic again? Okay. Wasn't loud enough, eh? Never. Never loud enough. Maybe dude. I just need to talk louder. No, no, you're good. I think it's on my end. Okay, he's he's uh everything is like the exact same as mine in Discord, so hopefully it will stay the case. I think that was just the remnants of an army that had like been in the area. I think that they finished off Ferox, who I think was down here, and uh I think that uh, he, because OG is his, was his partner. Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, they finished off Ferox, and that was just what army they had left after doing that. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna need to like finish these guys off here. The China, China could easily come back, and they have the Great Wall Gatehouse here. Pretty scary. Okay, let's get on you, team. Grab that. Mostly just spears. We did some pretty brutal damage. I'd be really shocked if they're able to come back. All right, so bombard cannons are out. Can you, um, yeah, let's see. I'm almost like, do we have you go like support them, that team? I don't know, I'm like scheming here. So, okay, yeah, you rebuilt the wall. Okay. Yeah, I got the wall being rebuilt. Oh, I hear trebs. They got trebs? Yeah, they're, they're trying to hit the wall. Um, I'm gonna see if I. Can. You want to build me a uh, gatehouse? Do you want to keep uh, down I'll there? A keep would be nice. Um, actually, you can build it behind my towers because. Yeah, I'm gonna set it up like deep set, so the trebs have to come into like your territory. How are you doing on stone, Duran? I'm I'm at five thousand. God okay, damn. so am I. The Great Wall Gatehouse does so much damage. Shit is nuts. Okay, let's get some horses. Yeah, they're, they're about to bust back through that wall. How many? Is it a big army or is it just like... Uh, I can't see them. I can just see the, the... Or I can just hear the rocks slinging. I'm gonna just rebuild the wall as soon as they destroy it, so hang tight. Okay. I'm trying to like focus on these two engagements here. Yeah, because now they're they're mustering a 2v1 top. Hmm. Okay, here they come. I have a keep coming up. Get ready to fight. Might have to pull back. We might just have to let the guys in the north survive, honestly. He's definitely not almost dead. Uh, The keep is going to be done in a second. Get ready to pull back to that, yeah? Okay. We need the rats in the south to backstab them. Okay, you might want to pull back to the keep now. Lure them lure them to the fire and brimstone. I'm setting up another keep as well. If you can solo that, I might be able to take these guys down to the north. Yeah, when I pulled back to the keep, they just went around. No, uh, just chase them down. You got troops in your base, like a bunch of horsemen that just spawned, so you can, you can go yeah. hunt them. 
Okay. Let's go here. Let's do a little ride by here. Give him a little razzle dazzle. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, you got you got lancers on top of those guys that are trolling. Yep. Okay. And if you get overwhelmed there, let me know, and I, I can I can come back. Uh, yeah, they're starting to overwhelm you. Okay. Yeah, overwhelm a little bit. No problem. Uh, let me come build like a keep by like in your base to help out. We might have to have like a truce with the northern folk. Yeah. Because we didn't finish them quite as quick as our uh, as our allies did. Don't forget to pack up some of your buildings and move. I got a, I got a lot of reinforcements coming, so should be able to help you stabilize. Yeah, I mean, I'm not anywhere near being wiped out, but... Yeah, it's getting a little shady, though. But yeah. Like, they're, they're starting to get the foothold. Yeah, yeah, I hear you on that. All right, I got the guys who were har uh, haranguing the trade. Sounds good. Let's do this. Come down here. I'll, uh, I'll take these guys out. They're trying to knock down the keeps here. And uh, just some traps and the great bombards. We 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 need to when you get a chance when you have a free hand start politicking with the uh, with the guys in the north. Let them know that the dark lords have secured the other side of the map. Although oh one guy left the game. Yeah, but, that was Ferox. Um, OG was his partner. But OG's that, still that in the game, right? Yeah. Okay. So we just need to secure our little our little empire here. Whoa, what are all these villagers doing? Jeez. Alright, we're gonna drive them back here, 100 percent Oh, they, they killed the villagers building the keep there, huh? Yeah. I okay. wish I could finish your keep. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay. So now the other team should know that um that we're under attack because it just it just notified to your uh, to your landmark. Yeah. Okay, so we got some dudes coming to help. I am weak. Please don't kill. They're me. definitely not weak. Okay. Got some knights in the base helping. Unfortunately, the keep didn't finish. How many villagers am at? One fifteen. Okay. They must have some supply lines here. I'm not sure what the extent of it is. Yeah, I think they um. Went pretty uncontested down south. Yeah, yeah. I think they're definitely pretty strong. Yeah, start politicking with the other team. We need to let them... Because they're probably trading cross-map, which means they're way stronger than us. We might still be able to win in a fight, but it's not going to be easy. Stop the keep here. How's your eco looking? Are you crippled eco-wise, or do you still have a fair amount? I still have a good amount of trade, and I mean, I've got uh, reserves on pretty much everything but food. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Keep chasing here. Hey, how are you doing in landmark? So I guess it doesn't matter in um, team yeah. games, right? And I moved one of them up to your base. Okay. Um, so you're. I mean, I'm, I'm good. They haven't got any of my landmarks yet. Well, no, they just got the, my first. The white stupa, yeah. Yeah, that was the first of mine. Okay, so we've held it back. Let's just keep chasing here. And uh, we just got got to be ready to fight him. Yeah, we need that truce in the north. The north is going to get strong again, though, unfortunately. But we have denied them trade. I do have a keep there, so. Okay, let's see this. Okay, we're kind of stable. Sort of. In a way. <laughs> yeah. We're something. We have trade. You know, we're okay. We just need to like uh like turtle down and hope that the top doesn't hold the blood feud against us, because that would be bad. Okay, they're actually preparing like full siege here. But yeah, it, it looks like it's gonna be a full siege situation, so. Oh yeah, there. Yeah, the armies aren't that big yet, but it's certainly a lot of units. Okay. I'm gonna try to switch up my army comp a little bit. Yeah, you can go like hand cannoneers and that sort of thing. Yeah, that's what I was going with. I need to get some siege workshops here. I'm going to build some siege workshops down here as well. Okay, let's take all the resources we can. Looks like we didn't finish that stone. 
No, the top might hold the blood feud. We definitely did a lot of damage yep, to them. They're, they're headed down south. Um, the northern? Back. The northern alliances, or? No, 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 no. Uh, green is down by the Ellsback Palace. It's a good thing I have that down there. I totally forgot it was down there, but I was like, oh, all right. That worked out well. Yeah, really. Yeah, that army is actually just not straight up dying to the Ellsback, which is pretty funny. Okay, let's get on that. See if we can creep through, get you guys over the top. I'm setting up like keeps in your base also to uh, give us a better defensible position. I just took down Green's army. Cool. You got any uh, production back online? Yeah, um, I've got... Uh... I'm rolling down with like 22 hand cannoneers. For Good. This second. That's great. The Chad Ellsback holding on there. Okay. Uh, he's pushing now too. Hopefully I can stop him also. All right. Coming. Okay. Let's just get horsemen. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. The the politics of this game. We just need to resecure our uh, our side of the river. Push these guys out, and maybe they'll, maybe they'll lose interest. My haggard spearmen are killing their trade. I have his last landmark somewhere. Oh, I didn't even know that. Okay, that's pretty funny, actually. Okay, we can definitely fight a little bit here. I got hard reinforcements coming from the base. Really, really curious what's going on in the north, though. Absolutely no idea. Looks like they both just reached Imperial now. Elsback should protect trade. Okay, so let's get you guys coming down here. They obviously have burning oil, so we don't want to get too close. Got, got mangonels coming up. Uh. Yep. Okay, so let's do this and uh, get you all set and do that. Slow, slowing down the roll, but... Yeah, we're good. Just keep fighting. You got cannon towers back in the trade lines, which is good. Just keep making yeah, great great bombard rolling up. Yeah, it's fine. I got a pretty thick army here, it's pretty fat. I should be able to fight them off. Wait, great one great bombard will certainly take its sweet time. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I made a spring ult. Definitely don't want that. Alright, their army got steamrolled again. How many times must we teach them this lesson? No more infinite yeah. stone. I got tithe barns and four relics. Okay, what is my eco out? You need stone? I can give you stone. No, for now we're okay. Alright. Okay, so they're gathering here. We got that getting set up, which is good. And we do have these bills here. So let's do this. Oh, here we go. Okay, we can fight. Loose formation. Take the horsemen around. Ride into the mango. Hand cannoneers and horsemen, please. It's a pitch fight here. It's definitely a, fer a ferocious one. Okay. They might be able to get past the keep here. It depends on what kind of siege capabilities they have. I see your hand cannoneer sneaking around the back here. Yeah. Which is good. All right, let's go take this down. And we got walls being built down there to prevent the raiding. Great Bombard is down. Okay. So you guys need to get back here so we don't have to start to lapse in resources. Okay. And cannoneers and horsemen. And how did the bottom look? I didn't quite get the walls up, but Ellsback should be able to hold back any like really soft raiding like that. Okay, let's get you guys. <laughs> I want OG still alive, isn't he? Oh, did he just leave? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he just left. Oh no! The other team is probably cackling pretty hard because they're not like under any pressure right now. Yeah. They've definitely any damage we did is pretty much long gone now. Okay, so let me get my TCs back. Okay, let's pull some bills down here. Both of those, get that down. Yeah, they're gonna, I think the other side has the best chances of winning because they, they have cross map trade. You need to let the, uh, if you can, 
Let the other team know that that's going down. Otherwise, we're all doomed. Make sure to mention, like, cross-map trade also. We, we have to use the haggard politics here. Otherwise, there's no hope. Uh-oh, where's my army? That spot is so... Ha yeah, no, because they're Ottomans, too. They have Ottoman trade. You guys need to backstab them while we hold. What are you looking for, Dan? Oh, sounds good. So hopefully the other side will do it. <laughs> they might not. Still, there, you for there's, there's, you hard. there's no way they're still recovering. So this keep's gonna fold. Do you have a do you have an army? Uh, I've got uh, like not a lot of the normie, but an army. Yeah. You got you got a little something something. That's good. Little something. There's a wonder. Oh, they're going wonder, dude. You see this shit? So yeah, we definitely need the other team to help us now. Oh wow, do you see this? Yeah, I do. It's good though, cause I'm actually happy they're going wonder, cause it, it'll make the other team help us. Like I don't think they were gonna help us until now. You guys get on it. We're fighting them south. Okay, let's pull back. Get you guys going here. Okay, we got the little southern wall going, which is good. 26 vils. Let's get you on stone. So the other team definitely needs to do some heavy lifting now. Um, three sacreds as well. Keep is in some danger. Do I have any villagers nearby? You can build like a town center for the repairs. I think we can. I got I got a villager working on it. Sounds good. Little cheeky run buys from the other team. It's funny, Sipa, he like look like they're stronger than they are. When you look at them, you're like, oh shit, those are some elite cab, but it's just like, it's just basically just, you know, a basic horseman, right? They have those like cool howling wings, right? All right, so we held them back, but- There goes the wonder. Yeah, the other team is gonna have to help us pretty heavily or else nothing nothing good is gonna go down. One idea- I'm wondering, do they keep the pressure on or do they fall back? They're gonna fall back as soon as they get attacked by the other side. Okay, let's see this. Yeah, you notice how the pressure pressure is kind of like waning a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, I mean they're still moving units across the river. Actually, never mind. I suppose I was wrong. I mean, if the other side isn't attacking them, I mean, really, they don't have any they, pressure to. So the last last time I fought the Chinese. They were actually very, like, he had a full army. So if they're saying they don't have an army to fight with, they're definitely lying. Okay, I'm trying to, like, fight them at the river to keep them back a little bit, but, yeah, not not quite going well. So I'm, like, kind of preparing a little secret agent shit. I would wager they're very entrenched. Although, I don't know, they've been pretty, they've been pretty active fighting. Like a wolf attacking me or some shit? I have no idea. Good luck to eight man and rock. May your kingdom rise in the end. They might. They very well might. Okay. I'm just trying to get towers up. Yeah, you're good, man. Oh my god, oh my god, finish it, finish it. Oh, repair. Okay, so traps are getting beat up. Trying a little funny have business. Plenty of his stone, and I can't do anything with it. You don't have a whole lot to do with the stone, is that what you said? No, yeah, I've just got a bunch of stone and like nothing. Like I can't sell it. No worries, man. Our our duty is to basically just hold until uh, until you know the other team can do something. They might not be able to. My food's actually running low. I've been producing for a long, long time here. We do have plenty of gold, so we should probably just start focusing on that. Dude, their trade must be insane. The Ottoman trade. I bet you it's bananas. I, I, I just get this feeling that nothing is going on on the other side. There's no way that they're not attacking. I mean, if they're putting this many resources here, I can't imagine that they're attacking them to the north. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think there's any Mortal Kombat going down. Okay. Okay, so cannons are here. We've survived yet another wave. 
It's like the it's like the horde mode survival, dude. Yeah, really. Okay. I they are not putting the siege into it that they have been. I'll give them that. Yeah, it, it looks like they pulled back. I think they're getting attacked yeah. in the north now. Yeah, that that those that keep and those things are the last things on this side of the river. Yep. Looks like well, no, it looks like they've got some orange. Like orange has some knights coming up, um, or Sipahi, excuse me. Um, they're about to come up to the to the crossing there. Yeah, so they're still now they're pulling back. They're giving up on it for sure. So we're gonna have to work through from the south. Um, although we could just do a river crossing. It depends on how well they react. I might be able to get a keep up there. Okay. So I built like I preemptively built a bunch of transport ships to drop my my grand army across the river. So this take you guys. Let's go up here. The villagers got their daggers out. They're trying to shank here. Yeah, I think. Okay, let's re rebuild the wall here. Force force them to use artillery. Delete the cannons because they're too slow. Let's move across. We can rebuild those. The villagers get the keep done. Oh, that's close, man. That's really close. They might actually get that. Okay, we're going to have to bring more villagers and finish that. Oh, here comes some more across the south. Dan, can you hold them off or no? What do you think? Uh, I, I'm going to try. Okay, I got some reinforcements coming. We still have the keep there. You got cannon towers. Oh, no, the villagers. Okay. Yeah, they get those villagers to get them. Watch out. You're, you're pathing and you're not shooting. Oh. Yep. It's all good, brother. So let's make a little dive for it. Try and get that keep online. And cannon tower's doing work. Jeez. Alright, so we need to build more transport ships. Oh, they're bypassing it. Can you, uh, you won't be able to intercept them, huh? Not, not with anything that'll be able to stop them from moving. No worries, man. No worries. I'm going for the wonder with, like, a small, a small force. I'll bring some guys back, I guess. But I got reinforcements pouring into your base. Okay. Okay, setting up a beachhead over here. Okay, let's see this. How are we looking here? Food's a little bit sparse. Do we have any more gold around here? We do have some up here. Come on, villagers. Survive. Okay, the villagers are just setting up a, like a weird trebuchet attack. They might have uh, split up their army so it's like a one-to-one -one situation. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Because they, they probably... This was only green. I think he knows that you probably can't fight him off alone, so they're um trying to s split us. Okay, so we got the keep here. Watch your villagers. Um, they look to be in a little bit of danger. Yeah. By your TC. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to... Oh, see. yeah, uh, they... Let's take you guys. Go down here. Um, where else do you need help? Are, are you under pressure anywhere else? No, no, no. That was it. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So seven villagers. Let's delete you guys. Cancel all these. Okay. Green's got the trebuchets on the bottom. And we now have this counterweight trap here. Wonder what their their stuff looks like. Oh, they're actually trying to kill Els back. That's weird. Oh, it can emergency repair itself. Shit, or it's within the influence, I guess. Okay, so clearing out these uh, little rats' nests here. I'll kill these traps in the bottom. Hopefully, Chadbach Palace will hold. Okay, so we don't have too much time. Definitely on the razor's edge here. Okay, let's see this. Drop you here. Drop you here as well. Do this, and then sail you over here to help a little bit. Alright. So there's any more armies coming? I'll just leave like that that like remainder of that force. Nah, I think we're I think we're done down here. I think we're in the clear? Okay. So I'm gonna just build like mass horsemen. It's pretty much the only way we can help. Okay. Get some more villagers here. Do this. 
And you guys can go ahead and start building some uh, stables here. Alright, cancel these ones. Very good. Wait, is there another wonder? No, that was to the north. They built a wonder up north. They built a wonder up north? That's what they did instead. They're expecting us to go take out or try to take out Chris's. And they're they built one up north. Oh my god, that's so troll. Are they fighting yeah. are they fighting though is the question. That's what I'm genuinely curious about. I mean, they're not putting wonders worth of resources into it, I can tell you that much. Yeah, no kidding. All right, well, I'm gonna get a bunch of stables set up here and see what we can do. <laughs> yeah, that's that's tr it's tricky, man. We do we could do a counter sacred site actually, but I mean, but to get all three, I mean, yeah, we'd have to wrestle that one from green, which wouldn't be easy. Green is trying to push through here again. Is he? Yeah. I think I left an army down there, so I can I can deal with his army. All right, so I'm trying to set up shop it. here. There's there's not really much to it. I've got cannon towers and hand cannoneers. Are you two top attacking? Let's find out if they are. They might not be. Okay, let's go here. <laughs> Chris's back says they're not. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm inclined to believe Chris a little bit, actually. Yeah, me too. Lots of walls, yes, of course. Okay, so I'm gonna start spamming out horsemen. <laughs> I doubt they are cause wonder. Like, why would you build a wonder? That's like gonna drain all of yeah. your, your resources, you know? Okay, so Yeah, I mean, there, there's no way. Okay, so we took this keep down. Let's knock these walls. Let's take these horsemen, clean those guys out. Well, I'm gonna get like one chance at like a horseman run by, but I seriously doubt they're gonna make that mistake. Um, do they have any like arty down here? I don't think so, actually. So we can take you guys and then uh, so go here and then here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way they kept this pressure on. And well, they're doing cross map trading on the other side, so they're probably getting like 400 gold to run, which is just nuts. Let's go see if I have any direct pathing to this. Probably not. We're gonna we're gonna test. Okay, looking good. Let's get you guys to come help build these. Yeah, I straight up don't think they are doing it. Okay, so the yeah we've sealed the bottom. We're good. Um, let's go and delete these guys. We don't need to, the wasted supply. Looking for some opportunities to get by. Definitely going like the route of like the folks they had killed will be the best. Okay, yeah, so their trade. Oh my god, it's 428 gold, dude. Wow. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it's. It's pretty much GG. I don't think the other guys are helping us. No, I don't. I can't imagine that they are. Gold a pop. This game basically came down to who could kill their neighbors quicker, and they killed they killed theirs slightly quicker than ours, unfortunately. All right, so let's move you up. See this, this. Get you nuking this keep. Yeah, they'd say there's no way. They have Seagate Castle trade. Yeah. It's... Look at this shit. Look at this dude. Oh yeah, I'm looking at it. That's that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's very good. Well, we would have. I mean, no. I mean, they 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 did it. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, they certainly did. That's what needed to happen for us. All right, so they're moving out. I've, I'm really curious to see when the game ends if they're actually trying to get through. Okay, so let's make knights, I guess. And just they can fight these these men at arms reasonably well. Dude, the spice is flowing. Yeah, no, they're definitely getting that spice. Poor villager tried his best. Okay, let's pull you up here. How are the other pods looking, by the way? You, get a, you probably checked that right now. I think we got some downtime. Yeah. I think so. If they're, I feel like the, the this format ends faster than the other one. Oh my god, that was some. You got a serious mechanical keyboard there, huh? Yeah. It's um. It's one of the. I forget which brand it is, but uh, one of my buddies gave it to me for Christmas. It's uh the uh, dwarvish, like Middle Earth keyboard oh that's awesome is it like from uh is it like branded from the uh, lord of the rings or the hobbit yeah, from the lord of the rings there was a elvish version and then there was a uh uh a dwarvish version you, and, ma uh, you made the right choice yeah 
Don't don't get me wrong. I love uh, Lord of the Rings elves, but the uh, this keyboard was like I like the color scheme better. Yeah, and the, the door. The, the elvish one was like a, a teal and like some other color, and this one was like dark gray and like hell yeah, just got all those yeah. those good solid colors there. Yeah, GG. We could probably just tap out. I don't think I don't think we need to wait to the bitter end here. I think there's very little chances. I would wager they're pretty entrenched. Yeah, look at this. Holy shit, that's messy. Although there was one vulnerability on the side, like down here. Um, but yeah, overall, it's like it's not gonna. They had cross map trade for a long time. Oh my god, trade is so strong. It looks like there was a little bit yeah, of a they, fight up top. They were fighting a little bit in their defense. Uh, you can look. See, there was a there was a fight yeah. at the river. Yeah. Yeah, they made it as far as the river. Yeah, they they tried their best. Let's see up north. Yeah, they actually well, were back I mean, online. Well, to, to be fair, they probably didn't trade the best because otherwise they would have used the resources that they used to build a wonder <laughs> to help them fight through. Yeah, yeah. So they're probably not trying their best. Oh my god! I thought Turin was going to get yeah, there, so I built see, a wonder. Exactly, yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah. They they were expecting us to do it, dude. This is just brutal. Look at the trade. Oh my god! Yeah, and they it yeah. looks like they steamrolled these guys down here. Yeah, they they steamrolled <laughs> Ferrex and. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's some pain right there for sure. A lot of production infrastructure. Yeah, yeah we just needed to kill the top quicker. We were very close to finishing them, but then because then we can get that top trade too and just build a wonder in our corner. You know, that's uh. Although you know, we could have built a wonder. I had like 20,000 gold. We for sure could have built a wonder. But like, yeah, it's it's tricky. I, I guess we should have expected the top wasn't going to be like healthy enough to fight them. But part of me is like, maybe in retrospect, it's easy with all this information here, but maybe we just, uh, as soon as we... Because I, I could have built a wonder in the corner. I, I mean, that probably is a better chance than where we were cur currently at. But it would have been really hard to hold not only that like brutal trade they had, but also the top because they would have been raiding yeah. us. Yeah. And if we'd built a wonder, then we would have just been stuck between them and uh, the north. And yeah. they would have just built a wonder, a counter wonder on the other side. Yeah, for and sure. And when ours was done, then they would have won anyway. I think I think um, that was our best play, though. The wonder, like in retrospect, like if you just think, like these guys yeah. are Ottoman with full erect cross map trading with Seagate Castle and and the upgrades. Like, there's no way we can fight them in a war. So the only chance is to try and Helms Deep in the corner. Which I had fifteen thousand gold. We probably should have done that, but. You know, also like uh, four players versus two, you'd think there would be some functionality, but um, looking at the top, those poor guys didn't have any gold really, aside from like some, well, they had some trade across at 166 a pop, which was pretty good, but they were pretty gold starved, I bet, like the French and Chinese. They had at least 6,000 gold. Yeah. Yeah. To build a <laughs> Yeah, they had at least <laughs> enough to build Notre Dame, yeah. 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 But, uh, you no, I mean, it, they were just, they were... They knew they weren't going to probably beat us on it, so they took their chance that we might beat the other side. And then, dude, look at the know. look at the Ottoman trade. So yeah, two hundred and twelve thousand. So yeah, it's it's insane. The forty percent speed on those is so good. But uh, GG's man, we'll we'll get them yeah. next time. We'll, oh yeah, one of these days the old men will get you. <laughs> but today is not that day, and uh, I'll be casting the finals here. So get ready, casting right, your seatbelts. How are we looking on lobbies, by the way? I'm waiting for them to get back to me now. Um, let's see. Pod three is finished. And we were pod one. Let me check on pods four and two. All right, all right. Let's see how it's going. Swimming in gold, dude. Yeah, Ottoman trade is really, is probably one of the most powerful things in FFA. It's really, really good. Mongol trade is pretty good, too, because they can get... You can get stone and then you can give it to your allies, I think, via the trading with your allies, even though there's a tax. So you can get like quick yeah. wonders that way. Yeah, yeah like I, I had 11,000 stone there at the end. Yeah. So we could have, we should have gone wonder with his stone. Like he could have given it to like me like 10,000 and just build like 100 keeps by L's back and then just chill. That That's what we should have done. But yeah. it's easy to say that after we know the like the state of the game. It's definitely easier that way. Let's see. All right. So let's see here. He's checking the pods to see how far along we are. If we have time, I could play like a 1v1 or something too. Uh, yeah, all I've got is one and three so far. I don't have an answer from two or four yet. So I think they're still going. Okay, so I'll do a 1v1 then. Okay. And and um, and then after that, we can, uh, we, can, we can see where we're at. Sounds good, brother. All right, GG's, man. It was fun as always. We'll, uh, we'll see you back next time. 
Same to you, bud. All right, take care, brother. All right, bye. All right, guys, there it is. You didn't kill the top quick enough. Smeagol, yes, Smeagol will be in the finals. We'll see if they're going to get that trade. That brutal trade that they got that game. That's a really strong strategy on that type of a map, like where you can partition off half the map like that, just aggressively steamroll. You want Game of Thrones rant time? I don't think we got. I don't think we have any gotten any like Game of Thrones stuff, did we? Well, maybe we did. I'm not sure. All right, so looking good here. Perfect. And what Civ do you guys want to see? We have some time. I'm gonna play uh, play something I don't normally play. So we'll, uh, oh, what are these taunts? Oh, you can actually look at all the taunts? I didn't know that. I thought you just had to kind of guess and explore. Oh, there's some unlockable ones. Granted for participating in a team ranked, solo or team ranked? Oh, so I have to do, these are all from like team stuff, okay. Okay, so there's some I haven't unlocked. I didn't know that. Hey, OG, it's okay, you tried your best. They were very strong. We needed you guys to hold though. Because that game, whoever defeated their side first was going to win that game. Just because they established that OP trade. Uh, we can put it to a poll. But I'm doing unranked right now. So I can, you know, we'll, we'll see what you guys want to see. So I'll put it to a poll real quick. So um, start poll and uh, sieve. Uh, do we want HRE? Let's add a couple more options. I don't ever play a Bassid. I don't ever play Ottoman. Ah, oh, shit, I don't have time. What the hell is this, Warring Islands? Can I, like, dodge this shit? I don't want to play an island map. What is this? Okay, I guess we're playing an island map. Uh, no thank you, dude. Like, I don't want to do a water map. Water water sucks, dude. Do I get a penalty for dodging? Okay, hopefully not. It's unranked, so it shouldn't matter. All right, one sec, guys. Let's fire this back up again. It's like, no, no thank you. Uh, so, yeah, quick, because quick battles have the old maps. Oh, yeah, that's like crazy. So we're going to be running into some weird maps, aren't we? Okay, so now we can actually do a proper poll, too. So start a poll. Yeah, I know. I, I just don't like island. Like, it's fun in a casual sense, but in 1v1, it's it's just stupid. Yeah, it's like water is so boring. Like, there was more individuality before with the sieves, but now they just kind of like all feel the same. Yeah. Dude, island just, uh, I just, I just don't feel like doing it. It's like a waste of time. All right, let's see if I get like penalized for dodging or whatever. Let's see. Oh, we can veto. Okay, so let's veto all the island maps to save time. Holy Metal Empire. That's what I've been playing a lot. Um, all right, so it's stuck on search game now. It might it might punish us. I'm not sure. No, looks like it doesn't. Okay. So, wow. Wow, look at the map pool here. All right, down with the hell out of that shit. Uh, high view is fine. Um, Boulder Bay. We Boulder Bay, I don't mind as much, but yeah, let's just get rid of water maps. Dude, it has like all the old maps from before. Wow, that's weird. I don't mind like these like hybrid ones as much. All right, there we go. You're the Bob Ross. Hey, thank you. Greatly appreciate that. Steven Skull making it above the law too. No, he's not. Is he really? All right, is this just part of your joke? All right, so let's get the sieve, um, a bassid. We'll do one of my mains and then the rest will be stuff I don't know how to play really. <laughs> Auto and um, do we want to do China as well? Man, we're finding games super quick. Ooh, Hideout is such a good roost map. It's such a good roost map, guys. Oh, man. All right, so um, we could go roost on here. I think we just got to go roost on this map. The turn is trading. We traded a little last game. Oh, we can't see still. I forgot to switch back. Jeez, you guys, you guys wanted that broadcast the entire time, eh? Where I'm just like sitting there. Okay, got to resize everything, shit. Okay, show the game. There you go. All right. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually not like a huge fan of trading as a mechanic in general. Like I, I, I don't know why it just doesn't like chasing traders. Like I feel like if they do one trade, it's just like they generate their worth. So it's like really hard to effectively shut down. Yes, good, good. Let the hate flow. Okay, so we will go roost against Mongols, try and get some trading and have some fun. Nah, it should be good. Hunting cabins. I believe there's a lot of a uh, lot of good stuff on this map. Hideout got nuked for roost. Barely any deer now. Oh no, they changed it. Is or is that in the? Uh... Okay, it looks like there's deer here. Okay, so let's do this. Set you up. I don't know. I've been finding deer so far. It's not as many, but it's some. It's still something. Did it get nuked recently? You're saying? 
Okay, so there's a lot of a lot of little dudes. So let's get them up here. Perfect. Is it no longer the Roost powerhouse map? I don't really care. I, I I just really enjoy playing Roost. So okay, looks like there's there's a couple deer camps here on the far side. All right, I dig it. Okay, so we got to do a little bit of manual micro there. So we can try like weird strategies since we're not doing ranks. We we can just kind of experiment with fun stuff. Okay, so. We've gotten a little bit of deer. Um, the hunting cabins, though, I think are the, are the big breadwinners. So we probably just go super hard on the hunting cabins. Yeah, it seems like there's less deer, so maybe they did nuke this map, huh? Okay, let's go down here, get you in the wood. That's what she said, and keep looking around. We do have this deer camp right next to our base, which is nice, so we can always go for that. Okay, found another deer camp here. Okay, awesome. Let's keep hunting the deer. And wheelbarrow. Early wheelbarrow is really good for Roos if you're getting enough game. But if you're not like having as much fun um, with the... Oh, hello. Okay, let's uh, do that, please. Okay, so you can go look for the goodies. And uh, hopefully the villagers will uh, not go get those wild uh, wild things out there. Yeah, didn't they used to be... They used to be like bigger deer, I think, if I, if I remember correctly. Like the camps were larger. I don't know. Okay, so you need to manually micro that because if you just have them auto attack the deer for some godforsaken reason, they um they they just like use a third arrow to kill the deer, so it's just much slower. Looks like he's trying to deny deny me here. So all right, that's fine. We can just keep looking around. Oh, look at him, the dreaded the dreaded boar. Okay, so we will run away from the boar. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll survive. 46 gold a minute. You know what? We're going to be like kind of greedy with this and just try and build a couple more. And let's do this and then back up here. I think we have enough for the early wheelbarrow. I think we're going to do it. Okay. The wolf is still here. He didn't actually get it. So he might be get it. Let's pull it this way. We might get it. Trying to like pull it away from him. And do we get it? Yes. Nice. Still got it, baby. Still got it. All right. Let's move you up the map. Let's get the wheelbarrow. And uh, then we can set up another little food uh, alcove over there. Unfortunately, they're doing some long distance fooding, which is not what I wanted. Okay, so do we have enough? I need a little bit more lumber dropped off if possible. And uh, oh wow, he didn't get these deer to the north of his base. Interesting. We are doing a very slow age up right now though. I guess that's the only downside. Like our food isn't awesome. Okay, so we do encounter. Oh, that's the Dreadcon. Okay. And one. Okay. So yeah, we kind of screwed up our like food. You see how far they're having to go for those deer, but it could be worse. And we do have double hunting cabin. Dude, that hunting cabin's giving 69 gold, the blessed number. There's no way we can lose this game now. I'm surprised he hasn't been raiding me with cheesy spearmen, but I guess Mongols don't do that against Roos, right? Okay, let's keep riding about. We've gotten good bounty. We're at 230 at the moment. Pretty respectable. Trying to get to the next stage here. Okay. So let's go see. We have another wolf. Let's see if we can... Ooh, a couple of sheep too. Couple sheep looking good. All right. So let's grab you guys. Do this and go Golden Gate. We have a very late age up. That was very, very poor in some ways. I mean, some aspects of the game have been going well, but the speed at which we aged up here was not. All right. We're going to get this. Could put some pressure on him. With Roos, I really like to go 2TC. It's like it's... It feels good. All pods are finished, great. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll do this and then... I can always leave the game early too. Um, yeah, I don't want to keep people waiting too much though. All right, so let's get another hunting cabin over here. And the hunting cabins on this map are brutal though. Very, so like we don't even need to mine gold straight up. Okay, so we got 250, which is good. That's giving us tier two. Um, the golden gate, let's just keep pumping villagers into that. Where the hell is his base, by the way? I think he's over here somewhere. Okay. Looking good. We got that. And uh, we got you. So we need to hit that wood hard. Is there a trade on this map? There is. Okay, so that's right. I need to go wall this shit right now. Otherwise, I'm going to die. Yes. So he's going and he's going. We'll immediately get stables because we have to contest that trade. If we don't, yeah, I guess I'm not going to, TC. <laughs> I guess I'm not. All right, so we'll attack you. And I could go early Spearman. Hmm. 
I feel like the stables on this map are going to be way stronger, though. 100%. Okay, so let's do this and this. And have a couple of you guys build the stable immediately. So let's build that over here. Get some knights coming over there. And the Khan is watching. Yeah, he's obviously going to want to be trading, right? So we need to, like, lure him away a little bit. All right, so let's get you. Looks like he hit the next age. The amount of, like, resources we're getting is just crazy. All right, so let's get you guys to set this up. Oh. Bruce Palisade should be especially good at denying this. Okay, so he sees it. He knows what's going on. He's got an archery range, but thankfully we went stables. So let's get you and uh, trade for some wood. Do this. Double stable. If we just effectively deny trade, then I think we, we can win it, right? Okay, so let's just power build these if we can, so he can't like block me with some shit. He's trying to, I think that's why he's trying to get over there. And uh, do that, looks good. Hmm. Might be able to block some of them, I don't know, we'll see. And if he attacks me, then runs away. Yeah, we're gonna have like knights there soon though, so that should like be very good. All right. Let's see that. Get you here. Get a couple of these going. Villager with the shanks. Ooh, Mangu die. Nice. The fact that we didn't get that full wall is really bad. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we might not see it. Oh, nice. We got it. Okay. We got the dreaded full wall. So we just need to, like, delay that for as long as possible. Oh, no, we didn't get that corner. That's unfortunate. All right, knights are coming. So we did lose a couple of bills. We could go 2TC now. Save up a little bit of stone. Let's do this. Get you guys kind of start working on that. We'd like to go for the boar, but yeah, Mangudai will definitely counter us. Although we might be able to trap him in there. So let's just make you guys now. Okay. Did those houses not build? They did not. So let's get in there. See if we can go hunting. Yeah, Mangudai will definitely wreck us on our, our big tanky knights. So we just need to run, basically. Um, get a blacksmith set up. Okay. I don't know why the houses down there didn't build. Oh, that sheep is... What the hell is this shit? Oh, is it... What are they clicking on? A sheep? Okay, let's do a little bit of raiding into his base, actually. So you guys can come up here and do that. And then we can run the other one into his base. Okay, so we got the horseman coming out. Let's get the armor upgrade. It's very much just going to be one of those, like, haggard-ass battles for the... Uh, for the... Uh, for the, the trade. If we had walled earlier, we were in a very good position. But let's just go to his base now. Okay, let's do this. And then we can uh, set up some archery ranges. Okay. Horsemen. We need to get like a critical mass of horsemen. Okay. That knight, unfortunately, got karate chopped. How's the trade going? It's going okay. And can we get any of his, like, gold eco? Oh, nice. We won't be able to get some here. Mangadai I do take, like, 10 years to kill kill the knights, but even still, they get the job done. Okay, so now we can get archers to start moving up there as well. Yeah, we took down, like, a couple bills. Probably wasn't worth, to be honest. Okay, so let's get the uh, the dudes and get some archers. I don't know how good of an inclusion the archers are. I probably should have just gone fast castle. With all this, like, free gold I'm getting from the hunting cabins. Yeah, probably should have just gone fast castle. Hey, Ricardo, thank you for becoming a member. Greatly appreciate it. We'll build some knights, too. Screw it, man. Why not? Okay, so we probably want to get a couple of you guys on this. Let's get you on gold. And let's grab another batch of you guys and go after the boar. We can get these guys. I don't know if I like the archer inclusion. Granted, they are a decent counter against Mangudai. So, you, know, you got that going for you. But yeah, he's got trade going already, which is not good. And you can see he's doing it on the other side, yeah. Alright, so let's get you guys. They're going for the boar. We'll just gather up an army and try and shut it down once and for all. Okay. Let's gather up the team. How are we looking here? How much trade is he getting? 172? Yeah, we probably screwed up our, our opening, to be completely honest. Okay, so let's gather you. And take down the boar. Okay, let's hopefully get this Dread Legion going. Okay, pull back, pull back. 
We got enough. Let's do that. Okay, okay. And uh, you, lady, can head over to the trees. We have so much food. We might be able to go castle behind this, but he's got to trade for a while now. I think we're in some serious danger. Usually, um, horsemen can catch Mangudai and kill them. But let's take a couple of the big, thick knights and have them go shut down the trade while the horsemen just trade and hopefully are able to catch some guys. Yeah, looks like we're getting some, which is good. Okay, take this guy down. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see this. See if anybody's trading here. And you can go this way, buddy. Okay, we got the boar, which is good. Archer's putting in a little bit of work. And trade is here, cool. so we can get the trade. Should have brought villagers during this push. That would have been uh, MLG play for sure. Yeah, I think the archers were a mistake, 100%. We, we did kill a little bit of trade, but nothing serious. All right, so let's get you, hunting cabin. We can probably, I mean, there's a chance I could scrap this game for sure, but I'm, I'm thinking maybe we just tapped so we can uh, get, so the people aren't waiting in the finals. Okay, so some trade is dying, which is good. Okay, let's just keep making hunting cabins. These two knights are getting a lot of his trade, which is good. Okay, I think we just go to the next age now, guys. Yeah, we're, we're getting a fair amount of trade. But the problem is all they need is one trade route to uh, effectively, you know, cackle at you. Let's just keep raiding. Yep, keep going here with these knights. They're doing a really, really good job. And we're very, very close to the next age. Okay, let's just keep hunting. We got you. Very close to aging up here. Just keep seeing what sort of scraps we can find. Just running away. We do have the, the ranged upgrade too, so should be pretty good there. All right, let's build um, a high trade house. Um, I guess we could build it like right here. That's going to give us probably our, the most bang for our buck. Okay, uh, horse archers against Mangudai seems kind of like an interesting tech. Okay, let's see what trade was able to sneak by here. Is there anything? Okay, so we get that, and you guys can come over here and raid the base a little bit. Yeah, we're getting a, a partial shutdown. Okay, uh, let's get you back here. I need to pull more dudes to uh, help with the high trade house. This is a really great greedy high trade house position, like really greedy, but yeah, it's also very lucrative. So, okay, so we force an idle, run back into his base here. We could even go another TC right now, which is kind of an interesting idea. His trade isn't that numerous. I don't think he's trading that hard right now. There's just not that much. Okay, the Mangudai are here, so let's take this knight and go down here. We just need to keep playing like, you know, playing just annoying horsemen, you know, all over the place kind of stuff. Hey, knight found a lot of villagers here. Very good. All right. Okay, so how are we looking? Mangudai can't be ever at once. Knight is uh, taking down some of his eco, which is awesome. The dreaded high trade house. Should be pretty good, potentially. Okay, let's have you guys park in the fog of war. And uh, let's do this. Yes, grab you guys, build this, get another uh, TC, so we can try and eco past this. High trade house will finish soon, and uh, we can go ahead and do this. We can also establish our own trade, potentially. We can definitely try. Don't know if it's going to work out, but that high trade house is going to give us a, a ton of money. Okay, let's get another archery range. I'm actually going to try horse archer. I don't know how well it's going to go, but screw it, man. Let's have some fun. We're here trying new things, right? That's, that's the plan. Okay, let's get you, and then you can go here and then up here. Definitely throwing a lot of units into the old, uh, into the old uh, enemy army here, but seems to be going okay. How are the boar looking here? New age begins, so we need to get the uh, religious characters. Nice. Found some of the dudes. He's looking for hunting cabins, obviously. Smart. Clever girl. That's going to give us 300 plus gold a minute. The boar will help us. It will ride to our aid. Okay. Do that. And then you can go ahead and build this. Okay. How are we doing? We are getting a great wall. Unfortunately, he's finding some of our, our little rat's nest that we have around. I think I did a little bit of eco damage to him. Let's see how he's looking on food. He's probably back on these berries, or no, there's only one left there, so he's probably up here. All right, so looking good. Let's get you guys here. 
I'm curious how the horse archers are going to do. He's just going to chill here and keep hunting down these guys. And then uh, we can grab you. Come down here. Do this. Get the religious building. Start grabbing relics. And hopefully we can finish this great wall. We're going to go try and get sneaky sneaky and finish that. Okay, knights are getting upgraded to the next age. He's just spamming mangu die, so let's go ahead and get the uh, the ranged armor. Villager here is gonna. Oh, can we seal this? No, it's not gonna happen. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we get there, man. Hopefully we get there. Religious buildings coming out. Looks like we did finish the Great Wall, so that's gonna secure us a relic. Uh, what are we missing? Food. Okay. Grab this and come back. Yeah, our food, I mean, I know I have a lot of villagers queued up, but our food needs to be better in general. All right, so we're going to head over. Let's do this. Okay, and then we got you guys, so we can start giving him a taste of his own medicine. I don't know if I have a good enough critical mass of these guys yet to really get the job done. Ah, the one thing Mangudai cannot deal with, the dreaded walls. All right, let's go back and just... We should be able to get into his base quicker. Although these little towers are pretty annoying. Okay, no uh, food. Let's go down here. Do that. You have any trade? Yeah, I feel like my army's a little bit too small here. Yeah, we can kill a couple, but he's he's definitely going to respond pretty quickly. I would wager. The knights will buy us some time because they're pretty chunk chunky boys. Okay, let's pull back for a second. Looks like horsemen are coming in to raid is okay. It's going to be kind of hard to deal with, to be honest. Okay, let's head back for a second and gather our forces. Okay, gather up. Houses, please. I'm good. Okay, so he just got Castle Age now, so now he's going to be getting that sweet juice going. We got the 2TC online. We need to get like a, a proper farming eco. Alright. Okay, so just knights and horse archer. It seems like a pretty badass combo, actually. And then we push. We can also start to mix in some crossbows and whatnot. Okay, let's move up. Hopefully he's not, like, upgraded yet. I think we have enough here. I have no idea how this fight's gonna go versus army. I need to get Boyar's Fortitude. That's um, a very, very good upgrade. Okay, so moving up to shut down trade. Let's get trade of our own. So then we can kind of scale with him as the game goes. I think we like do pretty good here, don't we? With our knights. Okay, so he's definitely not trading at the moment. Sneak some villagers up here. Okay, is he mixing in spearmen yet? Doesn't look like it quite yet. So cool being able to use horse archer units. You never get to like see them, but they're so good against Mangudai. Yeah, because horse archers defeat Mangudai in like straight up fighting. Okay, let's do that. Get this trade going. Hunt you down. No, thank you. You're not allowed to do that. Not today, buddy. Cool. That tower is causing us a little bit of grief, for sure. Okay, so let's try and lock it down. Okay, and buy some food so I can just spam out more units, pull back. We got the Walls of Doom on the way. Walling off his own market here, I mean, he could just like place outside of it, so it's not quite as good, but um, it's still decent. Try a little bit of raiding here, take down the con. Okay, let's see that. Looking good. Some random ass villager from across the map. That's hilarious. All right, so we're taking a bit of work, but we do have like a steady flow of reinforcements coming. Let's get the Boyar's fortitude, Chef Boyard. And uh, oh, the villagers are dying to something. I don't know what. Okay, so let's see this. He's got Vils coming out here, so fresh fish. Oh, it looks like they did live. All right, let's get a gatehouse here. We actually still have the three Vils, which is good. And thankfully, my supply lines are pretty close. I didn't screw that up. Very, very scrappy game. 
Yeah, you guys can start the game. Because I can, I can jump in after. and So no need to wait for me. You guys can start. Okay, where are those knights at? We need to get the critical mass back. Oh, there they are. Okay. Okay, so our food is starting to become an issue. Because I did not scale it appropriately. So let's do this. Get a little bit of that going. Switch into the heavy food. Villagers do go down here, but he's not even, like, trading that much. So I think we're actually, like, in good shape. We, we're also getting our own trade during all this, right? Okay, so let's just pick off these traders. If, if he's just going to run, we can pick off the vulnerable stuff. Nice, nice. Traders are down. Let's go ahead and get Chef Boy RD. I should probably, like, yes, yeah, get some, like, basic archers here at some point, right? So, yep, yeah, we got a lot of bills hitting this, but that is going strong. And, uh, yeah, farm should be kicking on here in a minute. Okay. So we got the sacred site. Yeah, it looks like our push is definitely running out of momentum. And, uh, yeah, we can do this. Let's go ahead and get some walls here. We can set up some wooden fortresses along the uh, palisade here. Get some Springald Towers. The thing is, now we have our own trade also. So we're not, like, going to be quite as vulnerable. Probably should have done horsemen, maybe. It could have been a little bit stronger. Yeah, but, yeah, we're getting the, the fat trade also. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a Springald Tower here. So now we just kind of use the eco that we've accrued and just try and get, like, real crunk. We can do another push here with, like, even basic archers would be really strong. Okay. Okay, he's got some Lancers of his own. Pull back. He, he's going to discover our trade, unfortunately. Set up a keep here to defend our farmers. Oh, oh, shit, shit, shit. The, the blunder. The blunder of the gods. Oh, we don't have enough for that. Okay. So he might attack this, which is, I'm okay if he wants to spend some time over there. Have a nice little vacation with his pals. Okay, let's do that. And uh, we can do more stables and start getting basic horsemen. I don't know what he thinks I'm doing with this, but it looks like he's distracted. So we'll, we'll take advantage of that time. We got houses coming up, right? Oh, lovely. They just were like, nah, we'll do something else first. Okay, didn't quite get a trade shut down, but we have our own trade. Okay. Looking fine. We have a decent military. Can probably fight him just because of the basic archers and stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of knights here too. I, I don't know if he's going to have the mass to deal with that. Yeah, see, so we were able to push him back, which is good. All right, let's keep fighting. Keep that trade pumping out. Give him a little loving. Mangudai are definitely a very annoying unit to play against. Said everyone in history ever. They're like, oh, ain't Mangudai OP. You know in history they were saying that. All right, so let's get you. Okay. Could go like men at arms and shit, but it really doesn't feel like it's going to accomplish much for us. As a matter of fact, let's get you up here. If he just wants to do that, we can we can hopefully cause some havoc. Okay, so we got 12 of you guys. Let's go up here, jump on this. I wonder if he's aware that I have this like big chungus trade. Probably is. This guy seems like a very strong opponent. I mean, he's conqueror also, so. His army's not that big. My food eco is pretty solid right now. Okay, we got a good fight. Looks like he pushed into us. He wasn't paying attention. The boy was not watching that time. Oh, yeah, that's a big beatdown he just took there. Okay. Sure, why not? More trade. Trade is OP, so let's get it. And we need to get more hunting cabins also. We have a handful, but we should be abusing that, like, Maximus. Maximus there to the max. Okay, turn on fight. More knights. Yes. Can we win this fight? It's getting a little bit messy here. And we do have the supply lines and basic archers coming out. Could start mixing in crossbows too to deal with his uh, his armor. I feel like Siege won't be super good due to like his mobile playstyle. 
Like he's going to be able to ride it down with a lot of his mobility. Okay, so let's target these guys. Looking good. We still have the trade, and uh, you guys did not seal the walls. So that could have been a disaster, but thankfully it's not. Alright, we're looking on food. Let's set up another food node here. Do I have a knight up there? No, he's, he's still just happily trading. Oh, the knights come. The, the dreaded knight flank. Yeah, I forgot they were coming from that direction. Okay, so let's grab you guys. Go here. So here and here. We're going to try a little funny business here, guys. We're going to try a little funny business. Hopefully it'll work out. Okay. We should probably... Do we want to get like a keep or something here also? Come on, guys. This is the time of heroes. I probably should just switch to like mass archers or something. Okay, is he doing something here? What the hell is this? This random ass freaking shit. Two can play that game. Two can play that game, my friend. Maybe he won't notice this, maybe he will. But nonetheless, we should be able to butcher those guys and be okay. It's going to take him a minute to get some troops up here to do anything about this push. Okay. So let's get those walls up and see if he's watching. And you guys destroy this. All right, so... Yes. 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 Let the trade halting flow. That's the stuff right there. That's the stuff right there. That feels good. Oh, there's no wall here, unfortunately. I won't be able to place it until he moves out of the way a little bit. So this is where he's having that revelation that I've trade. He's like, oh God, what have I done? You gotta keep there too, so if he tries to like push us. Yes! And now we just get annoying here in the back. All right, that's gonna cut cut down his gravy train that he's been sitting on. And we just need to sauce up our food a little bit better. Man, our, um, our eco though is pretty scary. Okay, looking good. That's got to be kind of annoying for him. We'll see how long it's, it is until he realizes that it has been effectively shut down. Then we build like spring towers back there and we just get real obnoxious. He's still torching those buildings. Yeah, we should probably like take these ones out of the queue. Okay, looking good. And then we can aim to go Imperial or something. I'm not sure. Let's go here. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Let the hate flow. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Not that much. Let's buy our way to Imp. Let's get Chad Chad Sky Tower. Keep killing this army. And uh, yeah, we just shut down his gravy train. We are going Imp as well. We got a lot of villagers doing it. We're getting Springalds and arrow emplacements on all these things. And uh, let's go ahead and get some infantry now too. Although on this map, like, mobility is so big. Oh my god, how funny is this? LOL, dude. Surprise. Get him. I'm trying to get him, dude. I'm trying to. He's been... The Mongols are usually the ones who troll. You know, they're the ones who knock. Okay, so let's do this. You know what's kind of funny is we're almost, like, mined through to his base, too. Like, that's going to become a variable here pretty soon. You know what? Screw it, man. Let's just keep making annoying towers back here. Okay. So let's make men-at-arms and just get, like, a pushing force. I should have built Spaskaya in the back, actually. That would have been better. Okay, let's do this and get the uh, this business. We need to set up more hunting cabins. So you, you. Yes, please. Let's get the knights upgraded. Oh my god, this is hilarious. That's a lot of traders that aren't trading. Okay, let's gather some stones so we can get proper walls to keep him from flanking and harrying. So we need to start gathering that. But should I like, start pushing out with this and just be really obnoxious about it? Oh, he's not He's not having that shit. Okay, we're, we're going back to our rat's nest here. Okay, let's push up and attack while he's doing that. 
It's going to take a considerable amount of effort to, uh, if we can like pop some of these gold nodes, you know what would actually be really strong? Would be to like, like tower up on these golds here. Yeah, that would be good to make it like hard for him to grab those. How's our eco? 137? All right. So we have way too much going right now. All right, so let's go here. Men at arms. And what do we have mostly? Yeah. We're going to be massing mostly Streltsy, but we have enough units there to justify the upgrades, I think. Okay, so he's not trading right now. Oh, he has Kurultai. Interesting. The Chad Kurultai pick. Either we both just have like some agreement. We're like, hey, how about we just don't make any, um, any what's it called? Any uh, spearmen? We're just like, let's just go. Let's just have our, our cavalry duel. We might get overwhelmed here. Um, tower's coming up. You know what? Oh, man, yeah, this is, this is... He's gonna just appear from the shadows here. I need to get like a full stacked army. GG. Oh, we got him, baby! Yeah, let's go! Woo! Still got it. All right. So we shut down his trade. He didn't have the eco because he was on one TC. Okay? So he didn't have the eco to keep up with us. Because um, we were two TC, we had a booming economy and trade, and he, he had no trade then. Oh my god, that was so good. Oh yeah, his eco is terrible. Yeah. He had like 50 villagers, but this was everything for him. Yeah, Kurultai. Kurultai is good now. It's not terrible. Oh, this is his whole army too. Yeah, he just had like 10 units versus a bunch of elite knights and stuff. Yeah, a lot coming. All right. I wish that was a ranked game. That was so good. But that map isn't in ranked, so yeah. All right, guys. Let's cast the grand finals. Um, Who's in the grand finals? I assume... Yeah, Chris is back. We know he's there. All right, guys. Time for the grand finals of tonight's FFA tournament. Ah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, team one is going to be Allied Trex and Nani Yori, Mongols in Delhi. Team two is going to be Scott and Mac on the Holy Roman Empire and the Malians. The victors from our pod are going to be going Mongols, Holy Romans. It will be Chris is back and, uh, and Smeagol. Well, Smeagol and Superoxide are on a team. Team four is going to be Emperor Jaren on the Abbasid Dynasty and Leto Atreides on the Malians. So this would appear to be the grand finals game. All right, all right. Let's see how this goes down. Thank you, Gunhound. Greatly appreciate it. All right, guys. So now we now we see how this goes down here. Random Warhammer question. Are Dark Elves good in Warhammer 3? Yeah, they're totally fine. Yeah, they're, they do work. They do work. It is not Nani Yori. That's Yoravity. Oh, okay, that's right. So Yoravity is playing the Mongols. Okay, so they're just like trolling each other. And, uh, you know, they're I'm sure they're pals in Discord, so. Yoravity is Nani Yori. So we'll try and get that right this game. But, you know. We can't always get it right. We can't always get it right. Thank you to the new channel members tonight. Greatly appreciate it, guys. The the green the green folks in chat are uh, growing in numbers. So thank you so much. Keeps keeps me going. All right. So let's break it down. Holy shit! Look at this map. There's a huge water node in the middle. A huge water node. All right. Well, great part about being a little bit late to the game is we can do some fast forwarding. And see where the teams are going to be settling. So spawning up in the north. Oh my god. So we have allied Trex. And then we have... Who is this? Is this his ally here? Or is that Smeagol? Oh my god. So look at this. Holy Romans and Mongols setting up right next to each other. Granted, the Mongols can actually move and switch. So not a huge deal. Now the actual ally of allied Trex. So allied Trex... No, that's super oxide. Okay. So this is the team from last game. This is the team from last game. This is uh, Smeagol, and this is Superoxide. These are the guys who won our pod with the Ottoman trade. Down to the south of them, we have some seafaring folk. It is going to be Superoxide and Yoravity claiming the water, but they are going to have a super, super, super quick mortal combat with these guys. Uh, that says March member goal. Is that the goal by March? Yeah, it's a four... Wait, no. January. Oh, we're in February. Oh, yeah, it should be for February. Yeah, Gunhound, thank you. I just, like, lose track of days. I don't even know what planet we're on. But to the south, we do have the uh, the Ravity Allied Trex team. And on the other side of the map, we do have some pretty close spawns as well. We are going to have pink and red here. So that's going to be Leto Atreides and Emperor Jaren chilling. And to the far side of the mouth, or the far south of the map, and mouth, I'm hungry. You can tell I'm thinking about food. It is going to be Scott as well as Mac. So that is going to be the team. The good times are going to keep rolling, man. Thank you guys all for joining Early Water from the Abasted. So if you guys are new to this game... Each shiv typically has a little bit of a unique variable as it pertains to what they can do in the water. Um, you know, not as much anymore after the recent 
you know, naval changes. Most things are kind of uniform, but they do have like unique upgrades. So for the Abbasid though, they get cheaper docks. It's one of the things. So their docks only cost uh, 75 wood, which is great. Up on the top though, this is what I'm really excited to see. And we can do some fast forwarding to catch up to the live state of the game. So we'll just kind of uh, turbo speed while they build up. TC is finishing here for Super Oxide and Smeagol. So they're all set up and, oh look, Smeagol has a mountain. He must be stoked. He's gonna be able to go eat some fish up in the mountain there. To the south, we have the Delhi and Eravity. So they are going to be setting up that big fishing economy. And honestly, that could give them a huge advantage. If they're not punished early, then the fishing could yield huge dividends and they could certainly be cackling. But a lot of people are fishing. The only team that's not fishing is uh, Team Smeagol, I think. Yeah, I think Team Smeagol and uh, Super Oxide up here are not fishing. So they're going to be hurting a little bit. Uh, you know, they'll be a little bit faster to the Feudal Age. But aside from that, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be tricky. So on the bottom side, looks all good for the Malians and the Holy Romans. They have a nice position here. I really like the positioning of uh, Mac and Scott. They have a, oh my God, talk about a God's here wonder position, right? I mean, you could lumberjack through here, but the odds of that happening are, you know, pretty slim. Plop a wonder down in this hill. You have some natural terrain to keep it from being rode down by horsemen and all that sort of good stuff. So definitely some neat stuff that can go down. Now over here, water being taken here by Emperor Jaren. Emperor Jaren, of course, is with Leto Atreides. And as we do progress a little bit later into this game, we'll get a little bit more of a feel of, uh, you know, how it's all going down. But yeah, this is going to be the first Mortal Kombat I think we're going to see. Like, these guys need to defeat the Water Folk. And the Water Folk, the, the Water World, the Kevin Costners, they need to go north and they need to, uh, they need to remove this threat, obviously. Oh my god, is he going to be towering? Are we seeing a Mongol tower rush? Oh my god, what is Smeagol doing? Okay, smeagol has got four villagers? What is he doing with those villagers? Is he building a market like really far away? I think maybe? I'm really actually genuinely curious what's going to be going down here. So Smeagol is Chris's back because in previous FFAs he's had a history of like surviving, being killed, and just like retreating into the mountains and hiding. And becoming Smeagol basically, so. And you know, just when, you, when you're one of those hobbits, you're comfortable, you just had some, uh, some of that elven bread, you're taking a nap. And then, you know, Smeagol's like freakishly long fingers just come in for the strangle while you're sleeping, right? You know how he rolls. So, you know, Smeagol in this game is very much uh, accurate as well. So on the other side, no Mortal Kombat yet. We see landmarks. We see the Saharan Trade Network, uh, which is a really good spot actually here by Leto. Uh, he's going to be securing like three massive veiny gold mains. So basically, uh, if anybody wants to come near those, you're going to have to deal with this landmark. So. And that's one of the biggest gold vein kind of outcroppings on the entire map. So Dome of Faith coming down here for allied treks. Gravity is going to be going trade, so Silver Tree, very much standard if you're going to be going 2v2. Trade is like everything, basically, in these big team games. It really is. I would say in single-player FFA, when you're on your own, it's not as much of a variable, but team FFA, you can just see it basically just decides the game in many situations. I don't care if you're like a, you know, a Conqueror player or whatever. If you're playing someone who's like, let's say, Platinum, and they just have Dark Lord trade, they'll probably beat you. If they can, uh, if they can just macro units into you all game. Expensive things. Over to the west side, we do see double barracks coming up. So Delhi, I think, is going fast castle, men at arm spam. That's what what it kind of looks like. Um, and I would wager he's going to be closing in on castle very quickly, which he is. You can see here 840 and 313, 318 now. So he is going to be uh, getting ready to party here. As we do see the uh, double barracks coming up and stables as well. Yep, so in an archery range to make elephants. So Allied Trex is just building a full military core. And, uh, you know, Smeagol's going to be able to get away. Even if this goes south, he's going to be able to move across and... Uh, and do his thing. So Castle Age coming up. Allied Trex is there already. So this is a super fast castle. Compound of the Defender. One of the better landmarks for Delhi in uh, in FFA and in general. Um, being able to build keeps for 600 is just very, very strong. So we're fast forwarding up to the live state of the game right now. Over to the east, we do see the Abbasid. So I like this by Emperor Jaren. He built his House of Wisdom really far away from his main base, but it's going to make them potentially harder to kill. So they could pull a Smeagol moment if they want to. Granted, if you're a Bassett, you don't need to do it that much in team games because you have your allies' landmarks too. They have to like fully wipe out your um, ally to uh, get that going, right? A little bit of trade coming. It's not insane trade from uh, Smeagol and his ally. It looks like it's going to be uh, 35. Over to the southwest side of the map, we do have Holy Roman setting up a TC in the hills. And we do also have a TC from Mac as well. So two players setting up there. And by the way, guys, this TC belongs to uh, Super Oxide. So Super Oxide... Sent villagers all the way down here. And look at this. Oh my god, the cross map trade. The pure filth. So here's the thing. Oh my god, they're leaving. They're leaving. Smeagol's fleeing, guys. Look at this. He's fleeing the scene. And Green is just being left to the dogs. He's like, sorry, Superoxide. It has to be this way. 
Oh my god, a little bit of water action going on. Nothing too crazy. It's just a couple uh, war canoes just battling the mill here, but... Oh my god, guys. Smeagol has abandoned his ally. He's like, he's like, flee the city! He's totally leaving him to the to the wrath of super uh, of allied Trex here. So allied Trex, castle age units, obviously they didn't have water, so they weren't going to be able to compete, right? But now you're going to be seeing the death of Super Oxide, at least his main base. Uh, I'm sure he'll be able to rebuild in the south and they'll be able to kind of pull some, you know, schemes, but... Overall, Allied Trex is definitely going to kill these guys, and uh, he does get that momentum. And what's scary is Uravity during all this is just kind of checking. Yeah, Uravity's like, strategy in most FFA games is Fast Castle, uh, a million Lancers, and just burn down. He finds the weak, like the weak prey, who's like a little bit lower than him, and he just goes in and just takes him out. But yeah, Smeagol has abandoned the city fully. He's He has actually gone to the other side of the map, and is going to be setting up uh, in a pretty safe spot. Look, he's got his mountain keep and everything. But that is um, that is pretty brutal. Very, very nice play by, uh, I was about to say Nandi Ori, by Super Ox. Oh, man, the name change is screwing me up here, all right? By Allied Trex and Uravity. Look at this. We even have the silver tree being hidden up in the hills, but oh my god. Is he going to, is, is Uravity going to suspect that and go look up there? No, it doesn't look like he's going to. Okay. So Holy Romans here are basically karate chops. They are in a lot of trouble, and uh, there's little kind of vestiges of different empires around the map, but for the most part... Definitely Spiegel and, uh, and Super Oxide are going to be in the worst shape right now. Question from chat. Are you planning to do more Company of Heroes? Yes, I'm going to be covering it heavily uh, as soon as it comes out. And I'll also be doing tournaments and all sorts of fun stuff. But yeah, you know, Uravity and, um, and Allied Tretch here are going to be very strong. If they get cross-map trade, if they go down here, get trade, do a big great wall like right here, like across this like part of the map, then I think they will be the tyrants this game. They're just going to be so strong. So green is still in the game, obviously. Uh, he doesn't need to have his landmarks, considering his ally still has them, and that's how like team games work and all that sort of good stuff. So, on the other side, we do see lancers coming down. Lancers for the Mongols are they're searching for the rat. They're searching for the Smeagol in the hills, which I love. Smeagol does have uh, he has his own lancers coming out, but only one stable's worth of production. And Uravity has found him, so Uravity now knows he's here and uh, is going to be able to harass if he so chooses. And it looks like Smeagol's running again. Oh my god. He's going full, full pack rat right now, guys. He's just like scattering. Look at this. He's even running through the other base. Oh my God. Look at him, guys. He's fleeing. He's fleeing the scene. So yeah, Smeagol really, really leaning into the role here as Uravity is hunting him down. And you have to hunt such, such players down. Otherwise, they'll come back and get you later in the game and uh, make you pay the price. Burger Palace actually being set up by Super Oxide. So Super Oxide lost his main base, but... He does have a little kind of foothill in the hills here, which is kind of funny, and he's going to be able to build keeps and maybe even survive here. Uravity, though, is like the hunter of men's souls, dude. He knows, like, instinctively where people are going to be hiding. Like, he can smell the smell the blood in the water, and uh, he is going to uh, he is going to move in here. So, town center is going down. Look at that! Oh, my God, he gets the walls! The super Oxide was like... Oh, my God, that would have been so shady. And look at this! Archery ranges and stables just running through allied Tretch's base. Oh my god, I love it. It's so haggard. Now, as far as other fighting goes down here, guys, I know I've been kind of hyper-focused on that particular exchange because it's hilarious, but there's really not a whole lot going on. Leto Atreides and Emperor Jaren are just, you know, macroing multiple TCs. There's Happy, Saharan Trade Network's chilling, grabbing relics, and on the bottom, Scott, as well as uh, Macker. You know, they're hanging in there. They're just, they're just trading. They're happy, man. They got, ooh. I like this. L's back in the corner is a really, really good preemptive strategy for building uh, wonders and whatnot. So that's very nice. But yes, the gremlins in the hills are being hunted slowly. Uravity's uh, Doom Legion is on the way. So Uravity is, is just methodically hunting down these units. One of the spears here is going to be falling as we do see more lancers coming across and they will be surging up to the high ground. And there are a couple of haggard, you know, feudal age spearmen there. They're, they're not soft spearmen. They're hard spearmen, but they're not hard enough to take on the, uh, the wrath here of these lancers as... Lancer's going to keep torching buildings and uh, trying to finish off the gremlins. So step read out is going down and they need to finish them off, right? Because if you don't, then they can come back and backstab you. And usually somebody who is this beat up, um, what's going to happen is like they, they won't try and win the game. They're just going to try and get vengeance in my anecdotal experience. So, you know, taking down the step read out here is going to be pretty big. Obviously, silver trees up at the top of the map. So they might not uh, they might not find that for a while. But yeah, it looks like the base here is getting canned. And now we have some, oh my god, oh, look at the Uravity trade. 255, nasty, nasty trade going all the way up the top, guys. Just brutal. That's almost cross-map trade. It's not quite all the way across the map, but it is big money, big money trade. 
No other fighting going down, really, guys. This is just the, the Mortal Kombat. This is the one exchange we've been having. Villagers being killed. Looking at the eco of Smeagol, um, Smeagol is sitting at uh, five villagers right now. So he's very much dead. Um, Super Oxide sitting at 39. He's got his like little hill fortress here. He's just gathering stone and probably just going to build some keeps in the hills and, you know, maybe hold on. I don't know. Stranger things have happened. I mean, people can come back from very dire circumstances here. Pasture is being hunted down. Uravity, a merciless hunter, not letting Smeagol get his footing. That's for sure. Now we do have the hill, hills. Uh, oh my God, look at this hill. This is a, another decent wonder position. You do have this like natural buffer here. Granted, Trebs could sit down here and like shoot up, but if you had like eight spring alds there, they would just be able to kind of clean that up there. So Cavcore riding about. Um, no border skirmishes here. I'm kind of keeping an eye on those things. And uh, we do see the, and this is a seems to be a big variable in these like 2v2v2v2 2v2 2v2 um, events is essentially when you are, um, when you're like take out another team quickly, it really gives you like a huge advantage on the trade on that side of the map. Hazy, thanks for playing the games I love and doing things. Hey, appreciate you, man. Thank you for the donation, and uh, we will keep this uh, this party started. It's going to keep going. Stonewall Gatehouse is here. You know, Super Oxide not going quietly into the night. Smeagol just cackling and running. He's got his town center here, but it could be discovered. Uravity is really hunting him down. But they don't need to really, like, stress it too much anymore. They can basically just, like, secure their trade, and they should get a giant wall if they can. They definitely can't. So are the Lancers going to go in and try and take somebody else out? Or are they going to maybe move up into the hills? Is he going to try and get a trebuchet? We do have the Burger Palace. Burger Palace, Super Oxide does have some decent bank, I guess. He's got like 2,000 stone, I suppose. Imperial Age being reached by the uh, by the Autom by the Malians. Excuse me. So Malians uh, are Imperial Age. And look at that. He found it. He found, he knows there's stuff up there. Uravity knows. He sent a scout up there to go look. And that Lancer did find its prey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's going to be pretty bleak. And is the big Cav Army... So it looks like they're trying to keep them trapped here. So we see the Lancers kind of sitting at the edge of this base, waiting. And uh, he's not going to be able to get through. As far as landmarks, we do have a TC hidden here in the shadows. And it looks like, look, the silver tree, it's making a run for it, guys. It's making a run for it. Where is it going to go? Find out here on the next episode. Up on the top, we have a wolf attacking. The wolf is the uh, was one of the, the dogs owned by the, uh, the Spiegel Alliance with Super Oxide. So it has teamed up to try and get vengeance. No fighting here. Um, how's trade looking? I'm looking for like crazy trade. Not seeing any at the moment, which is definitely a mistake. Uh, red and pink have a pretty big portion of the map. If they could just set up a trade post here and trade like all the way up here, that would be like 150 gold, if not more. So that would be that would be very, very strong. But alas, it's not going to be happening today. The, the trade is going to be dominated by uh, Uravity and, and Allied Tretch. Allied, I, I keep calling that. It's Allied Trex. Allied Trash is fun, though. It's a nice little Warhammer crossover. He does play Warhammer as well. So, um, you know, we keep it. We keep it there. Super Oxide chilling in the hills. I'm curious about the politics. We're not going to be getting any politics until... Uh, oh, my God. He moved the Silver Tree to the other side. You know, the thing is, when you play an, against this enough, you start to realize all the hiding spots. You, like, look around and, you know, sending a single knight to these various hiding spots isn't a big deal. Aachen Chapel got rebuilt. I don't know why that is still alive. That should definitely be burned down, but it looks like some villagers. Oh, these five villagers came and rebuilt it. That's pretty funny. But, you know, if you let them live, like, what could happen, right, is that you let green superoxide live, okay? He pulls all of his villagers, and then he builds a keep right here, like, in the late game. And then if you're fighting another team, you could lose because of that. You really, really need to eliminate these uh, these threats for sure. Now, do we have trade going here? Well, what kind of trade do we have? It looks like it's trading with the water. It's 46 a pop, so pretty subpar trade coming in from uh, Mac as well as Scott, but they do have good dominance on the, the water. They have really, really good water economy, but so too does the Northern Alliance. I, I'm i getting like an inkling that this is going to be a situation where Allied is going to use... Here's what's going to happen. This is my, my MLG prediction, and at the end of the stream, we can come back and see if it's correct. But they're going to just chill out, secure their side of the map, trade until their resources are just so disgusting that it doesn't matter. And then they're going to feed the stone to Delhi. Okay, and then Delhi is going to build 500 keeps in the corner, surrounded by 500 Mongol towers, and we're going to see a wonder victory coming in from uh, from Allied Tretch and uh, Gravity here. See, look at this. I told you guys, this is why you need to finish Smeagol. Smeagol's got spearmen, and he's killing traitors. Oh my god, I love it. That's so obnoxious. I, I just love every ounce of this. It's so funny. And look at that. 18 spearmen from Burgrave Palace. These are actually Dark Age Spearmen. They have not even been upgraded yet. And they're just going to be going to kill the traitors. That is really funny. Uravity um, is not coming down there. It looks like stone walls are going to be getting built by Delhi. So Delhi is going to be setting up the Great Stonewall Empire in the north, taking any stone they can on the map. And they have yet to discover the Silver Tree. So Silver Tree is still there. 
Um, the step readout has been destroyed. Okay, we see landmarks running. No, just stables and random buildings, which are being hunted, so they should go down here. And obviously, this has been rebuilt as well, but... But yeah, I love it. Look at that. Look at your avenue, the hammer of wrath coming down to dispatch the trolls who are interrupting his trade. Oh my goodness. Is there anything up here? It looks like this gold node just hanging out. And yeah, these guys have not been fighting at all. Um, we see Emperor Jaren just kind of chilling with the baseline army of units. And his ally doing the same thing. Or excuse me, Leto Atreides and his ally just chilling out. Big walls coming up. I do like that. Control your side of the map. They need to get trade going. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. This is beautiful. Good stuff. Well played, Jaren and Leto. You guys got your trade coming. A little bit behind the times. This could have happened a long time ago. But the trade is at least coming here, which is... Uh, which is going to happen. This is exactly what I did to Oxide last game. Oh, really? You were, you were trolling their trade? I love it. You were trying to save us from the from the 400 trade gold. Uh, yeah, you tried your best. All right. So looking around here. TC up in the hills. Dude, Smeagol is back. Look at him, guys. He's got... What does his eco look like right now? Currently sitting at nine villagers. But, you know, he's getting those pastures online. And uh, he's he's right, right under the nose of the mighty empire. Right under the nose. Are these guys being upgraded? Still no. It looks like we got two spring alts. <laughs> He's building spring alts and just like chilling here. And we have some uh, lancers just hanging out and guarding. This uh, building probably going to be taken down. And uh, landmark has been destroyed. And the uh, silver tree. Look, the silver tree is trying to flee. But it's been blocked by allied treks. Hey, Cameron. Thanks for becoming a member. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for helping us reach our uh, our February goal, man. Really, really helped. I appreciate that. All right. So we see an Uvu going down here, and now Yuravati is going to be uh, purging the lands of the uh, Aachen Chapel once again. He hasn't explored up here. He has not explored up in the north. Looks like in the north, an outpost is being built. Oh my god, the Mongols are building an outpost to keep Smeagol from resettling there. Archery range being taken down. No fighting, dude. This is like such a chill game for the other teams, though. But the thing is, they don't have the god tier trade. And god tier trade usually decides everything. Look at the trade the Mongols are getting. 23, 23, 23, and 255. It's not as good as the trade that the Ottomans can get, because Ottomans can get a uh, faster trade, and they also get, I think, 40% additional from the Vizier. But it's still, Mongol trade is definitely like close to... In team games, it might arguably be as good, because the fact that you can trade the stone. I think, can Mongols trade stone in team games? I think they can. I don't play a lot of team games, so you guys would have to let me know. I usually focus on 1v1. But yeah, hunting the gremlins down. We see the archery range falling. Uh, Silver Tree's back online. Oh my god, guys, how annoying is this? The one villager actually repairing the step readout, which is hilarious. Buildings being taken down. I don't know if the green villagers got away. Look at that. He found the rat. He found the rat's nest in the hills. He found them. This this game so far has basically just been casting Smeagol getting hunted. That's that's basically been it. It's it's like Sauron's ring race hunting him. Eurabity is very much a Sauron type character, you know. So, naval trade? Is our naval trade coming in? Naval trade could be a variable. I mean, it's not amazing, but if you trade here all the way up to here, it's probably going to give you like 70 and lumber as well. So, if there's no other options, it's not the worst. So, he does hunt down the pastures, and uh, villagers are being chased. It looks like everybody's Imperial except Super Oxide and uh, Smeagol. Everybody else has reached Imperial Age at this point. So, the die is cast. There's a random Delhi army over here sitting by the sacred site. They do have a scholar. I wonder if they're going to be trying to grab that. How many sacreds do we have here? It looks like the Khan has fallen. Switching on over to some other resources. Let's see. The TC has been found. So this is the uh, 7,000 HP TC. So this is actually the main TC, which is going to be getting hunted. Mongols are definitely the best if you like to play this way. If you like to just like scurry around the map and troll, then the Mongols are hands down the best if for you. So we do have the old elite lancers pulling back. Some of them are still hunting down the TC here. We've got a couple of villagers chilling out. Um, Silver Tree, though, is still alive and step. Look, look, look. He's helping his ally repair. Oh, yeah. Super Oxide, the chat ally. Repairing the step readout. It doesn't matter, though, because until you kill Super Oxide's little mountain fortress here with the Burger Palace, um, the, the Mongols can keep running around and doing their thing. They totally can. All right, so the town center getting chased, and down on the south side, we do see the walls coming up. So the walls are here, creating a little bit of a barrier between these two empires. These guys got a decent army. I mean, it's Muso Fatty, and they're not fully upgraded, and also they don't have any trade going. So I personally think Scott and Mac down here, they needed that trade to be a little bit stronger. That's for sure. They definitely did. So what do we got? Over to the west side of things, we do see the Spearmen just chilling out in the hills. Couple of villagers just grabbing resources wherever they can, which is not a bad idea by any stretch of the imagination. And on the other side of the map, a lot of lancers. They have finished off the town center. You probably want to just leave one lancer near every landmark to make sure they don't get repaired. 
because they they actually are gonna get their landmarks back look oh my god and he got it out he got the step read out through look oh my god Smeagol lumberjacks through the walls and got his step read out out of that empire oh my god that's so funny and now he's in like the no man's land right here so what kind of trade are we seeing here it looks like it's trade in the north okay they i think the trade routes are a little bit screwed up we'll have to see what what kind of resources they're bringing back okay 145 a pop is very respectable so uh, the Eastern nation of Emperor Jarn and Leto Atreides is actually going to be very strong. I still think the strongest nation at the moment is uh, Allied, as well as uh, Uravity. They seem to have had the trade the longest, and they have the most efficient trade route. But even still, you never know. So Uravity camping the town center here has not been able to get up into the hills. Um, where are all the villagers here? Did they get sent out? Wouldn't it be funny if he took, used his stone and just like stonewalled all the shit in the south just to deny trade? That would be the trolliest shit ever. If he grabbed like seven or eight villagers, stonewall and stonewall across with all that stone he gathered, Super Oxide could really do some hilarious, hilarious stuff. Now on the other side, we see trebuchets coming up, elite camel archers and uh, camel riders as well. So decent army hasn't had to fight in a long time. It's basically just been, you know, peace and, and harmony. So been a very, very uh, pacifist FFA game here. I'm really surprised these two haven't started fighting yet. They're like literally sharing a, a border and uh, yeah, they're just hanging out. Look at where the step readout is going to, by the way. It's it's trying to find a new home. It's not going to have like the easiest time setting up here because this nation is pretty populous and there's a lot of a lot of stuff everywhere. Um, vision as well. They're going to be able to see that. And this is very well hidden too. Like this, uh, this landmark, there is a way up to it, but it's kind of like tucked in the corner here. So it's going to be very, very hard to finish them off. Does Green have any way of getting back in the game? I mean, he's getting gold. He's got food. Super Oxide, you know? His score is certainly better than his allies at this point. And wow, look at this. Holy shit, that's a big fleet. So we have a whole whole battle battle fleet of uh, Karax, which I think is not super necessary on this map. I mean, you could take the Karax and, and sweep uh, Uravity and Allied Tretch out of the water. That would probably be the best usage of this fleet, but other than that, they're not like protecting a whole lot other than like a little bit of food infrastructure, which at this point in the game could be easily replaced by anything on the land essentially, right? So looking around here, we do see the Burger Palace and a whole lot of traders bringing back 380. Jeez, it looks like they optimized their trade a little bit better. 410. So they did move their trade. They did move the trade even further to the north. And now it's just, it's just sheer brutality, man. Wait a second. Oh my God, look at this. Look at Super Oxide. He's building a haggard wooden palisade to try and block the trade. That is so troll. Oh my God, I love, I just love the scrappiness of these guys. It's hilarious. And Super Oxide even has a little a little base over here. You know what, he's kind of he's making his way back into this game. He could definitely be a thorn in someone's side. I don't see him winning the game, him and his ally Smeagol, but they can definitely be annoying. Look, look. Oh, Emperor Jaren didn't want any new residents in his nation. So he is going to be torching this with his camel riders. So yeah, that landmark is not going to get back. Smeagol is never going to get that landmark back. You can see it's trying to scoot, but the step read out here is going to be going down here. So there it goes. And uh, looks like the market is also going to be hunted down. Leto Atreides and Jaren did not want any of those, those new inhabitants moving into their nation. They did not want that at all. It's actually happening, guys. Oh my God, look at this. It's not been noticed yet. It looks like, look, the trader blocked it. Is he blocking it on purpose? It looks like Allied Trex might have blocked it on purpose. I don't know if he did, but he has blocked the wall in, which is really, really funny. Gravity going to be sending one of his knight detachments over there. So he's going to be sending his knights over to kind of clean that out. And uh, I think they will have officially gotten rid of the gremlins in their empire here. Smeagol still has some villagers over here. Um, looks like he's going to be getting the double broad axe to try and get a little bit of efficiency as well. And down to the south, still no battling yet. I think it's just straight up going to be a wonder. Let's look at the resources. So looking at Uravity, he's sitting on 23,000 gold. And looking at his ally, Allied Trex, 23,000 gold and a lot of stone. I foresee a wonder for sure. They might even go for a wonder while everyone's alive. This map seems like it would be very difficult to like unify and get in there. And what are all these villagers doing? Okay, so Allied is sp sprinting like almost 30 villagers. Looks like down to 20 now. Is he trying to get to the sacred site to like build a keep on it? I'm not sure what he's doing. Oh, he's taking the stone. I actually really like this. I really like this quite a bit. Just the greed theft of all the stone on the map. But I mean, yeah, he got caught obviously, but I like the idea of it. Like stone is such a valuable resource in FFA. You know, being able to get those keeps and walls to really entrench a wonder. Yeah, yeah, it's going down. Oh, I knew it. The prophecy is coming true, dude. 
The prophecy is coming true. Oh man, we haven't had the Dean scream tonight. We haven't had Howard Dean yelling. Oh man, we got to get that online. But looks like that's going to be fallen. The uh, attempt of allied Trex to take the goodies has been denied. Karak's still going pretty hard in the paint. And you know what? The border is actually, like, it's pretty tight to the water here. So these Karaks are getting some good work in there. And neither of those armies have a lot to deal with this. And that's kind of cool. Obviously, it wouldn't help them if their base was attacked by, you know, 200 Lancers. But they're doing some okay damage. Looks like we got War Elephants. Wonder's going to be coming up in a beautiful position here. Um, Delhi using the compound of the Defender to build very cheap keeps. As we talked about earlier, it's a very, very strong tactic. And the Lord of Spearmen is here! Oh my god, is he going to go and try and shut down trade? I think it's like fully walled though, so I don't think they're going to be able to. But clearly, Super Oxide wants to get those units and get in there and uh, cause some havoc. Karak's going to be pulling back. And uh, we do have Ye Old Spear. So the Veteran Spearmen, are they going to move across? They're looking like they want to get in, but I legit think there's no openings. They could lumberjack their way through, perhaps, but they could also repair their allies' town center. I'm try and get that back online. Silver Tree still hiding in the bushes, and uh, it looks like the Mongols have kind of reset up their entire base up in the north here. And the Karaks did some good damage, taking down one of the town centers here, but the Karaks are actually quite beat up. There's only four of them left. It looks like they died. Nope, they actually retreated to heal. So are they going to start bombarding the walls here? I'm surprised there's been no fighting whatsoever. Like, none. Like, the fact that these two nations are so peaceful, there must be some weird alliance going on or, like, a non-aggression pact. It's the old-school 1999 brood war. Uh, no rush 10 minutes. No rush 20 minutes. You can't you can't attack until battle cruisers are out. That's that's taken me back. You guys remember those games? Anybody ever play brood war and, you know, original StarCraft? You get into a multiplayer lobby and it would be, like, no rush 20 minutes or something? Some classic times. So more villagers being pulled by Allied. Allied going to be trying to build a stone wall here, but it doesn't seem like it's going to bear too much fruit. He might get it partially online. Looks like the Karaks are going to pull back. So that's pretty fortunate for him. He's going to be able to maybe get these walls up. We'll see. A little bit of trade disruption. We have a villager here. Uh, looks like the walls were destroyed. <laughs> see, Ravity came up with a hammer and was able to shut that down. And wait, did I see a wonder being built? No, this is the step redoubt. So he's got one landmark hidden back here to make sure that they don't die. And look, the Mongols are packing everything up. Everything up. And is the TC being repaired? It is. He doesn't have the wood though. Oh no. Superoxide doesn't have the wood to repair the TC. He ran out for a second. Guys, this is going to get real sweaty real quick. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go either. I don't know how this is going to go. The one thing that you could do is you could do a naval landing. So you could like clear the coast with your Karaks. Like just blast all this trade. And they really should be disrupting the trade. Like I do not know what they're doing here. I guess they don't really know the current state of the game, right? They don't know. So what you probably want to do is get all your Karaks and, and park them right here and just nuke the trade. And uh, But again, they don't know the situation like I can see it. So to them, it's like, oh, their neighbors to the southwest or the east could be just as strong. It could be just as strong, right? We have the Griot Barra kind of hanging out here. And it uh, looks like they're torching down the Holy Roman mining camp. Trying to get rid of the last of the buildings. And uh, no wonder being built yet. Looking at the bank here of uh, nobody's dead, which is also surprising. Uravity has 39,000 gold, guys. Just a casual 39k. Uravity has enough to build a wonder right now. And uh, looking at Allied Trex, 35,000 gold and, th and 3,000 stone. I think that's crazy. He's going to be able to build so many keeps. Their defense is going to be unholy. Now, this is money. Well played to Scott here. Nuking the trade. This is, this is the play. And it makes me wonder. I think that this trade could force them to go, uh, go for the wonder early. I think we could see that. This is going to be shutting down the trade. And then the Chad Holy Roman fleet just rolls up. And it's going to start bombarding. So yeah, big damage coming down on the coast. Gravity as well as Allied Trex is going to have to abandon their coastline. Because this is pretty much not going to be viable. So they're going to have to set up in the north. And it looks like Gravity is ready for war. He's He's got all his infrastructure relocated. And uh, we do see the White Stupa being set up in the north as well. And are we going to be seeing the Sacred or the Wonder right now? Yeah, farms being set up. Obviously their, their food eco has been shut down. So they're going to have to set up here. A lot of spears. It looks like the town center is being repaired. Uh, they could lumberjack their way through, honestly. Oh my god, I think it's going to happen. Holy shit. It's so troll. Yeah, I mean, if everybody unifies against them right now before they build the wonder, I think they would have a chance of winning. Because, like, you know, I don't think Uravity and Allied are great players, but, you know, if everybody teams up on them before the wonder, their chances will be much better. But as of now, um, nobody's, like, there's a little bit of an effort against them. I mean, they did some coastal plundering. Really good stuff here by Allied, too. He grabs his relics knowing that he's going to be losing that coastal position, and he's going to be relocating them up to the north. 
and uh, trying to get that sweet, sweet deli shop uh, operation going on elsewhere. Smeagol with a TC in the north, so Smeagol's kind of alive. Um, he's got his TC. He's got eight economy, and uh, the other TC is going to be coming back online. This landmark is completely toast. This one is pretty safe for now. But yeah, it's only a matter of time until we get the dreaded wonder. I like this reinforcing too. Delhi, the fact that they're so stone efficient, like the way that they're, they're prioritizing and kind of working as a team. I really like the uh, the synergy between these two players. I think it's great. So Allied setting up the walls. And uh, looks like it was saying another landmark could be built, which is interesting. Yeah, cannon ships do a lot of work. How's the trade looking here? It's only 74 a pop. Oh, ooh, wow. Okay. Holy shit. This wonder position is god tier also. This is like an awful position to have to attack. Holy shit. You guys seeing this wonder that could potentially go down here? And they have enough resources to build it. Honestly, if I'm Orange and his teammate, I build the hell out of that wonder right now and just, just go for broke. Because they don't know how much stronger the North is. They're kind of lumberjacking their way through here, um, which might allow for a little bit of an opening. But this is a gut this this is the best wonder position I've seen. Like literally just one tiny ass choke point. I mean trebuchets could get the high ground and shoot down and cannons, but that is a that is a god tier wonder position. Over here, it eh, looks like they have some okay ones as well. Trade obviously going pretty strong for this team. So they're bringing back 153 a pop. It's not as good as this, which is gonna be, you know, 393 as well as uh, you know, 344, which is pretty insane, but overall, not bad. Cannon ships have secured the coast. Delhi, the Delhi fonts are just chilling out, and uh, the stone walls are continuing to be built to uh, secure the Great Empire. Looks like no stone walls up in the north yet, and nobody's wanting to pull the trigger on the wonder yet. They're just really, really optimizing, just making sure they're secure. They got villagers building stone walls here. Hopefully, the wonder will fit back there for their sake. I think it will, but this is a this is a pretty god tier position as well. It looks like he wanted to build it. It looks like they're building stone walls, and uh, how is this going to go down? Because, like, the thing is, if these guys build a wonder, okay, and then Uravity and Allied Trex race him, but they fail to beat them, then it's that weird situation where, like, there's two wonders and the other teams feel, like, disenfranchised to help you, which is, you know, that happened in our previous pod, right? Like, we were basically, you know, just going to... What you would do if you actually thought you would have a chance is you would just say, like, oh, you know, I'm not going to help unless you delete that. Is he going to go up here? Is this where the wonder is going to go up in the hill? Oh man, that's an even deeper position. Like, yeah, only artillery on the low ground can get it. Looks like he's building towers here. Interesting. I'm really curious to see how this goes down. Really, really curious. But yeah, all is peaceful. Like, literally a little bit of border warfare. It looks like some trebuchets from uh, from Emperor Jarn and Leto Atreides may have taken down some keeps on the border of this alliance, but I don't know if that's going to be it. Smeagol, his town center is almost back online. Not quite there. <laughs> he's on life support. He sure is. Chris is currently sitting at 17 eco right now. But what a Chad living this long, you know? That's the Mongol way, man. I like how they just like fled. They didn't even try and defend against the attack. They're just like, all right, let's just let's just like set up a new a new Oh my god, look at it! Oh the superoxide trolling! Superoxide walling the gravy train, and there's nothing nearby to stop this. Oh my god, I love this so much. This is just bringing me such joy. Little things like this, guys, can make a big difference in the state of the game. Like, it's just even the smallest creature can make the biggest difference. This is truly a Lord of the Rings tale. Now, the Hobbits, you know, the Hobbits hard carried Lord of the Rings, right? They certainly did. So, uh, we're seeing that here in this case. Now, the Malians over here, they're going for a wonder or anything. I see a lot of villagers being pulled. We have 29, which is definitely a substantial amount. And I think Mac is going to go for it. Nanny Ori's building a wonder. Uravity's building a wonder. He wins. 73 villagers. Holy shit. The gravy train is being shut down, too. And look at that, he started to build his counter wonder. They might as well cancel it at this point. He's got 30 villagers and Uravity, a very seasoned uh, FFA player, is gonna be pulling 73 villagers to deal with this. Yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's gonna be brutal to shut down. I honestly don't think anybody's gonna be able to. I think uh, I think Uravity and Allied are probably gonna win this game. On the south side, we do see walls coming up and the trade has been officially shut down. So, you know. If they're not able to hold this wonder, they could potentially lose, but their bank is huge. 34,000 to the bank, although his food is really low. I guess he pulled all these villagers here, and it looks like the uh, monument of the Great Khan has been set up. That's a very epic position, like up on the hill like that. I really like that. They weren't able to get a full wall, but yeah, a lot of towers, and uh, now it's the come at me bro moment. As they need to pull villagers. Yeah, so the two ar the armies are all gonna be mobilizing, even the haggard Holy Romans in the south with their Spearman Legion. 
might be trying to do their part. And the stone walls of doom have been set up, so no more uh, lucrative trade here. That's going to be shutting down that trade route. And where are the villagers at? Did he just lead all his villagers? No, he's going back to the farms right now. Yeah, good luck getting through this. This is going to be brutal, man. This is going to be brutal. It depends on how quickly the nations like assemble. I really like Leto Atreides' play there, here, though. This is really good. So if you guys are a little bit newer to FFA, this is like this is like solid, solid FFA principle. Instead of trickling units from your base, which is further away, you set up forward supply lines. It is wood intensive, and it, but if you have the wood, it always pays off because you can keep that pressure on. Granted, I mean, they have a good angle here, but how are the um, naval lords going to do it? Okay, they're going to do a naval drop. I like this idea. Load up transport ships with villagers and set up a beachhead right here on the base and then just start pushing up. Okay, I'm actually happy with how the players are reacting. They're reacting pretty quick. You see they're loading up their transport ships, they're getting their Muso Fatty, they're going to be heading up to the north and preparing to do glorious battle. Now, looking at the bank of your Avity, it's actually not that good. He doesn't have much food or much wood, so he might not be able to do much aside from producing Lancers. And looking at Allied Trex, Allied Trex definitely has the bank. He's got 10, 5, and 43,000 gold. Just balls deep gold. And it's going to be using that probably to set up an unholy empire here. Villagers, or excuse me, uh, Elite Musufati. Going to be battling down an elephant. They do drag the beast down. Trade has been shut down. So, you know, this is this is an all-in situation. And did they cancel the wonder? They did, which is smart. Because you're going to need those resources for the battle to come. And also, the other team won't help if you have a wonder as well. It's pointless, because then they have no chance of winning, right? So uh, there would be no point in helping. Yeah, you could totally do a dive on the Wonder, but like you're going to take a lot of... These are all cannon towers and four keeps here. Uh, dives aren't going to be super efficient. I like the setup here. They need to get villagers to set up infrastructure like ASAP. And I think Mac is going to do it. So very well played to Mac here. I really like that. And over here we see the Grand... Wow, look at the... All these players are so practiced in FFA, dude. I'm loving it. Like they're all playing so well. The reactions are great. So villagers have set up and they're going to be setting up a keep here, which is a brilliant idea. Because that will, um, okay, then they're going for the goal. I think it was a misplay. Yeah, so now they're setting up keeps because this will make it hard to push them out. Like, your Abity could storm down with 200 Lancers and annihilate this army because land snakes aren't very good against Cav. Like, big armored Cav. But if you have, you know, keeps and cannon ships kind of protecting you, you're going to be in much better shape. So, we'll see what kind of armies they can muster. It looks like the Sacred Site is going to be dispatched and the siege is on. The first battle is going to be taking place. The dreaded Camel Legion crashing into the Elephant Army. I love it. Very, very, very fun stuff seeing these two armies do battle. Overall, the camels will probably win this. I don't know. The camel riders get a bonus for his cav, and uh, elephants do count as cavalry. So they are going to be getting, uh, I believe, the bonus coming into play. Let's go ahead and see. So they do a bonus for his cav, yeah. So the elephant's going to be dragged down. And honestly, this momentum could be pretty nasty. These players, a lot of the players that you guys are seeing in here, I recognize their names. If you want to get involved, join our Discord. They are training FFA games like every day. And uh, yeah, it's so you can see the principles are very good. Like forward aggressive keeps while you're pressing. Keeps yourself from being pushed back. And uh, I love this coastal landing here. Oh, we didn't finish the keep. He went to the other keep. You can see the cannon ships are going to be dragging down some of the knights here. But they need to go finish this other keep. They did. So now um, your Avity's knights should be taken down. It looks like there's going to be a monastery setting up. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Is he going for a sacred victory? Oh, that's going to be so Chad if they go for that. He might be doing that. How many sacred sites are there? Are there only two sacred sites on this map? Let me go ahead and double check here. So checking sacred sites. No, there's three. Okay, there's three. The other one's over here. I mean, they maybe could get to it, but yeah, I, I do like the, that idea. A bunch of monasteries being built, but they definitely need to build infrastructure here if they want to actually make any progress. You need to build like a million barracks instead, um, not so much monasteries. On the other side, we do see the Dumbo Legion uh, getting pushed back by the combined Malian and Abbasid forces. The defense is going to win this fight. So the alliance of Leto Atreides and Emperor Jarn is going to be taken down here, but they are setting up as well. They have a keep here. They're going to be able to get more units coming out here pretty quickly. We see infrastructure here, which is pretty close by. Certainly good enough. And uh, they should be able to kind of continue that momentum. As the main, this army lands and is starting to torch infrastructure, which is good. They're going to be taking down buildings. Not that killing universities does a whole lot for you. We do see siege workshops coming in from the Holy Romans. And they might need to land more. Yellow um, probably is going to want to start building things here. Because this army is going to run out of steam really, really quickly. Like, can't, you saw how much damage one cannon shot did to those Muso Fatty, so... Yeah, they're going to run out of steam rather quickly here. But I really like this push here. I think it's really solid. Looking at the Wonder Tracker, guys, we can see we're sitting at 9 minutes and 40 seconds. So they still have time to get in there. It's going to be really, really close, though. Um, the idea of going for a Sacred is not going to be pl uh, plausible anymore. Simply because there's only, uh, you know, they're sub-10 minutes now, so it would lose the race. 
So pushing up here, Muso Fatty continuing to crump. They need to get in here and start like taking down all these buildings. Yavity probably running out of steam in terms of resources. No, he actually was able to get his food eco back online. So he did get the pastures and is, uh, if you could shut that down, that would be really strong. Like if these Muso Fatty ran over there and killed his food eco, that would probably potentially win the game for everyone because he would stop producing units and then uh, this Abbasid Malian Alliance would be able to get some momentum coming in. This is a scary ass defense though, guys. Eight Manganels, a big army. They're gonna need some help from these guys. It looks like the Muso Fatty are able to clean out some of the Delhi defenders. So the Delhi men at arms gonna be taken apart. Still walls to be dealt with. And do we see siege workshops? We do see bombard cannons. Well played, everyone here is playing very well. I'm super hyped on this. Cannons shooting away. Gonna be knocking down uh, the madrasas. Not really gonna do much, but you know, gotta get those buildings out of the way. Definitely wanna blast these stone walls down and start cutting through the infrastructure. A big mortal combat going down here, and a beautiful push by Leto Atreides and uh, his ally Emperor Jaren here. As they're going to be forcing attrition, which is what you need to be doing to the defender. Forcing that attrition, uh, slowly pushing them back, and draining their resources. Look at this! Allied Tretch with the double relic! He's coming in, man! He's coming in, and he's going to get those fat Wola lows. And they- Oh, the nice cannon snipe! Leto Atreides with a beautiful cannon snipe over there. Triple Sacred Sight going down from Mac, but it, it's it's too late now. Um, we see infrastructure coming in, so they are building some buildings. This is a this is good though. It, it's pretty hard for them to get here. It looks like there's a lot of ships. At this point, you delete your navy. You delete all your cannon ships. It's, it's just taking up military supply, which you're gonna be needing for the great push here. These walls also need to be blasted down. The cannons and mangonels need to get a little bit more active. Over here, it does look like the defenders are gonna be able to uh, stay the course, as gravity is basically just spamming out hand cannoneers, which is gonna be very, very nasty. And his bank is good. He, he can afford to keep you know, making these gold intensive units for quite some time. Looking at the Wonder Tracker, seven minutes and 30 seconds. So a lot more fighting to be had. We see Muso Fatty Gunners coming out and uh, yep, the Bassid and uh, Malians should be able to kind of keep that momentum going. Cannons, are they moving up? They need to start punching through here. This is this is a, a misplay here. Mac needs to be a little bit quicker on the micro and pushing up. He needs to get all this artillery, start killing all these buildings to keep your avidity from producing and go from there. Now, looking at the Wonder, yeah, it's seven minutes here and the Sacred Tracker has got to be way behind that right now. More Siege Workshops coming. He's not using his artillery, so that could potentially be a game losing play. He needs to get those units active and uh, obviously there's a lot to keep keep uh, keep track of, but overall, you know, maybe they think they're gonna win, I'm not sure. Look at this! It's Smeagol with his Dark Age Horseman, or Feudal Age Horseman. It's Smeagol and Super Oxide, and they're helping. This is actually helpful. You know, you need to kill landmarks. You need to wear these things down. And if they go up here and shut down the pastures and like the lumber economy, dude, that could actually be MVP. Guys, who would have thought the dreaded Smeagol would return? Somehow he has returned with Superoxide. And they're taking down, you know, they're taking down landmarks, which is good. We see yellow getting in there, torching economy down. And now the artillery is going to be moving up from Mac. A lot of siege, just blasting down whatever they can at this point. And uh, yeah, man, who would have thought? Who would have thought he's back? We get continued pushing up in the north, looking at the uh, the the wonder or the sacred. Or excuse me, the uh, yeah, we can't quite see that, but yeah, six minutes left. Six minutes left, and it looks like there's going to be a wonder being built somewhere else. So I just saw a wonder being constructed somewhere else in the map, if I'm not mistaken. I, I could have sworn I had that notification, but I could be wrong. But Smeagol is back with his Holy Roman ally, and you know they 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 have even set up a little bit of a you know an operation where they can keep sending units out. So they are you know potato horsemen, but it still matters. Superoxide's got horsemen riding through. Going to be going after landmarks and pushing. A lot of elephants coming in here. And now the war machine is on. So Mac is pushing through. And uh, his siege equipment is fully operational. So as long as he keeps this push, I mean, they might have a decent chance of getting it. Because the Abbasid are still uh, causing a lot of havoc over here with their uh, Musafadi and uh, the Malians allies, of course. They're pulling back to the keep, it looks like, a little bit. Both sides are getting stretched out. And, you know, there is a lot of momentum coming in here. A lot of siege equipment. This is, a, this is actually a very clutch play from the Gremlin squad, from, uh, from Chris and Superoxide. Shutting down the food of your avity is, is, is going to be big. I mean, he can go through 11,000 food very, very quickly. You guys would be surprised. But the town center is going to be dying, and uh, Yellow's army is still moving in. Looks like they're going to be taking a battle here, attacking the, uh, the Delhi army from the side, which is going to be kind of scary considering Delhi has, I think, a lot of uh, mangonels. No, those are actually spring so he doesn't have a lot of uh, mango units. And the fighting is now on. These big elephants actually have a bonus for his cab. So they're going to be able to grind down these Holy Roman Knights pretty effectively. The artillery needs to get shooting right now. Just start blasting in there, dude. Just start blasting. Over here, we see a 2v1. We see Uravity attempting to take this fight and trading very, very well. The, some of the units are running by, and the artillery might get sniped here, Holy Romans. Oh my god, look at this! Super Oxide's Holy Roman Warriors moving in. 
They came from the, like this little like rat's nest base that he has up here. I love this. This is great, man. The 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 old world is uniting against uh, Sauron here. I don't know if they're gonna have time enough time though. They got four minutes left. It's getting very close. I mean, all it takes is a couple trebs getting right here, and and that does the job, right? So you have any pushback? He does have his mangonels fighting in a choke point, which is very very nasty. Over in the center, Delhi holding on like a champ. Delhi actually crushing. That was a big play by Ally Trex. He could have just won the game right there. Like, he had, like, a, a big core of Spring Olds, and it looks like they killed all of Orange's artillery. So, very, very strong stuff. Yuravity pulling his villagers back. Good call. You want to get them back to kind of repair the wonder here. And we do see the uh, armies pushing forward, but the mangoes are really, really just crushing everything. And, you know, the buildings are being pushed back slowly, but time is not on their side. Three minutes and 43 seconds is uh, certainly not a lot of time. Smeagol still pushing in, you know, making a little bit of momentum, going after towers and trying to do what they can. You know, every, every little bit helps, and the Wonder also could get affected by a run-by. It could. The two armies have unified here, and they still have huge armies. Uh, the military is 117 for Uravity, and for Allied Trex, his military is at 190 military for Delhi, guys. 190 military for Chad Delhi. That is absolutely insane. So Allied Trex's army is thick as hell, man. It is real thick, it's real pissed, and it's going to be causing problems. But everyone's pushing, man. They're getting, you know, worked back slowly. A good attempt by everyone. I don't know if they're going to have the time to get there. More Lancers coming out. Three minutes until the Wonder Victory. And somebody else is constructing a Wonder. Maybe it's just bugged from earlier. Or is he actually building a Wonder somewhere and I'm not seeing it? That would be a pretty MLG play if they actually, like, got the kill and he had a counter Wonder. But uh, obviously a little bit risky for sure. The pushes continue. Big armies mustering at the borders. They're going to need uh, trebuchets. At this point, you don't really make bombards. You make trebs. You make, like, 15 trebs. That's going to be your core kind of siege unit. We do see a little bit of a push coming in from the side as Gollum actually has his uh, traction trebuchets. He does. And they're knocking down some of the cannon towers, albeit very slowly, but good spring alt control from Allied. He's using his spring alt to snipe all the trebs and artillery, but, you know, the attrition is the name of the game because Allied and Uravity probably won't be able to rebuild their militaries. Um, a lot of their eco has been shut down, and I guess they still do have a fair amount of barracks here. Mass Bank and Elspring, all this like is the best is the best combo for uh, for defense here. So still getting pushed down. Wonder is sitting at two minutes. That's going to be very very tight. I don't think they're going to get there, but it looks like I mean there could be some sort of a miracle MLG play, but yeah, Delhi is just holding on here. It looks like Yellow and Orange are trying to do a forced run by, which is not a good idea. They should just be trying to kill the army there. So a little bit of a, a blunder, and uh, we see the Mangonels pushing the train up the buildings, but that's not how you went. Um, you're going to have to move those mangoes up and start nuking this army and uh, go from there and, and then you can maybe try a run by here so Smeagol is trying his best he's almost got this cannon tower down the Delhi fonts are holding allied's military is still at 190 um yeah so he's he's producing like a champ they need to fight they're making a mistake they're trying to run by and they're losing so much they really need to just be fighting here instead of trying to make a run by that is not how you're going to win against that entrenched position over here the mangoes are moving up but i think it's gg a minute left there's uh, i just don't think it's physically possible at this point but a really good attempt by the other players. And uh, we kind of saw the writing on the wall early in the casting of today's stream, like that that was going to go down like that. So, um, yeah, absolutely crazy stuff to say the least. All right, guys, the battle rages on and we see the trebuchets continue to get their uh, their action as they do nuke down a couple buildings. But Delhi is just so Chad here holding on and both players kind of taking that 2v1. All right, a big momentum push actually kind of breaks the lines of Uravity a little bit. And we do see some Holy Roman Troopers trying to kind of squeeze by here. But overall, the uh, Hand Cannoneers continue to blast away, and it is looking like it is going to be GG, as they only have 39 seconds left. But that was a good push. That actually did a lot of damage and really took the steam out of uh, Uravity's army. And, like, the Trebs are kind of close. Like, look at where they are. Like, one more, like, maybe another two minutes, and I think they get the Wonder. Another two minutes. But, um, yeah, now they're fighting properly, but that is going to be it. GG well played. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Great defense and great teamwork by uh, by everyone, but more specifically, great teamwork from uh, Allied Trex as well as your Avity. They had a really nice synergy, and I love the fact that they brought the best out of Delhi. You know, like Delhi normally isn't considered to be good in FFA, but the fact that Delhi gets a discounted keep from they were able to kind of spam more static defenses, which I thought was really cool and. Delhi being able to build stone walls makes them really good defensively because they can just like constantly be plastering up walls. So that's going to be the uh, the tournament. So tonight's event has been won by Allied Trex as well as Uravity playing under the dreaded Nani Yori's uh, name right now, which is pretty funny. All right, guys.
Hopefully you enjoyed that one. Look into the breakdown here. You can see it all. Good times. They are a rolling. Just want to sincerely thank you guys all for joining tonight. That was a lot of fun. It's going to be a short one, but don't worry. I'll be back streaming tomorrow. Might even do an age stream tomorrow. If you guys did enjoy the stream, do drop a like. It helps more people kind of get into the old age community we have here. And thank you so much for the donations and to our four new members. Thank you guys so much. Helps keep the old ball rolling through the dreaded January, which is always fun. The way it works essentially is on in January, YouTube just karate chops you because uh, you know the ad rates and all that change. So again, it really does help out quite a bit. Thank you guys so much. That's going to be it for tonight. Well played to the champs. And uh, I think that's it, man. You guys take care of yourselves. We'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. Yoravity was playing under the name Yan Nani Yori. It's like, an, it must, I think it's some sort of an inside joke they have going in the Discord. So um, yeah, good times for all. But that's it. We got some great FFA games tonight. We also did get a fun 1v1. If you guys missed that, I played a 1v1 um, with Roos versus Mongols. That was pretty good earlier. So you can go back and check that out. But thank you guys for joining. All right. See you on the other side. Take care of yourselves. That is it. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow, most likely. I think we're going to be streaming tomorrow. Should be fun. Cheers.